pin the uh, create a title too for it. I put twenty twenty k deposit. Put that on there, but then comment. Put that as the title, and then put twenty. Then put um, comment twenty to join live. All right, so we live on here. We good. So I'm about to go live on here. God. What up, what up, what up? We in the building, what up? Sound check, sound check, sound check, sound check. What's good, everybody? What's good? Welcome, 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 welcome. Welcome, 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 welcome. Let me know how everybody feeling on this marvelous day here today. Welcome, everybody, to the live training where we're going to literally share with you guys how to go ahead and open up your own profitable event space. I know everybody is about to fill in this room, so we're going to give it a quick second. But let me know if you guys are excited, if you guys are pumped up, and you are ready to get the information that I believe is going to truly help transform and uh, truly help you guys out. So let me know if you are ready to get this party on the road, um, and let's get to it. Um, let me know where y'all calling in from, and we're going to get right to it right away. So let's get it. Welcome, everybody, to the training this evening. So let me go ahead and get ready to pull up my slides, give you guys the rules, and get to it. Uh, da, 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 slides. Okay. All righty, there we go. Start. All right, cool. Welcome, everybody, to the event space workshop. It is my honor and privilege to be able to spend this next hour with you. I'm about to go ahead and share with you guys and break down the strategies on how you can find your own event space, fund your own event space, and automate this entire process. I'm going to literally give you my three-step formula that's helped hundreds and hundreds of people open up spaces just like you. But before we get into it, let me go ahead and quickly break out the rules so you guys know how to get the absolute most out of this training. So, for this next hour, y'all, I'm going to give you guys as much information as I can on helping you guys be able to get and open your own profitable space. So let me go ahead and break down the rules and we're going to get into it. So number one, please take a moment to eliminate all distractions. So if you got people around you, things, anything that's going to stop you from getting all the information that you can, you want to remove that, right? If you have a laptop, instead of using your cell phone, hop on your laptop so that way you could get all of this information, you're able to take notes and you can see the full screen, right? Number three, there will be no negativity at all inside of the chat, right? So at any moment you feel as though this isn't for you, you simply can leave, right? Why? Because our goal is to really be able to help transform and, and help those who are who's serious about the information number four very quickly i want everybody to stop what they're doing very quickly right and i want y'all to take a moment right now and i want y'all to share this live share this training with somebody else you want to see one one of the biggest areas and problems that i often see is biggest thing that i see that that goes wrong with so many of us is we're normally the only people winning on our team so what i want you guys to do take a moment right now and I want, and we'll pause for about 30 seconds, right? Especially while everybody's getting in the training, getting in the room. And I want you to share it out. And once you share it with somebody you want to see when, comment the word uh, done, right? And very quick, I heard a couple people say, I can't hear. Can you guys hear me? Let me know if you guys can hear me. Let me know if you guys can see me. Let me know if y'all can hear me. Let me know if y'all can see me. Let me know if y'all can hear me. Let me know if y'all can see me. Let me know if y'all can hear me. Let me know if y'all can see me. All right, cool. So y'all can hear me. Y'all can see me. All right, cool. So let's go ahead and get into it, y'all. Welcome everybody to the training. Let's get to it. And again, everybody, make sure you guys are taking as many notes as you can. Because I tell people all the time, note takers are money makers. And what we're going to do, like we always do, we're going to go ahead and give away an iPad at the end of this training to somebody who took action. So one of the things you got to do is subscribe to our YouTube, follow me on Instagram, and go ahead and leave a post inside of our free Facebook group. 
So without further ado, man, let's go ahead and get officially go ahead and get this thing, get this party officially started. All right, cool. So let's get to it. All right. So let's jump to it. All right. So very quick, let's get right to it, guys. So I'm not going to jump in what people are saying about this workshop, but I can assure you this. This by far will be one of the best workshops that you've ever been on. I will give you guys my word and will give you guys a whole lot of game. Um, very quickly, over these next several slides, I'm about to just share with you several people. Um, over this next few minutes, I'm about to take a moment and share with you a, 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 several people who I help open up their own profitable event spaces. Everybody I'm sharing with you, just simply say congratulations, because one of the things that I believe is true, one of the things my guy Blake said, he says exposure equals expansion. A lot of you before this training, you won't know what an event space is, and you don't even know what's possible for yourself, Right. So with that being said, as I show you other people, just say congratulations because 100%, just like the 500 other people I helped around the world open up spaces, I believe you could be one of them as well. So let's go ahead and get into it. Everybody quickly say congratulations to Ashley, Kevin, and Michaela for getting their spaces. Kevin says, finally got the keys in my space number two, second event space in less than a year. Success, love, speed, execute, execute, execute. Everybody write the word execute in the chat because it's going to be a critical piece to you guys getting your space. Next, everybody say congratulations to Dom, y'all. She's over there in Detroit, Michigan. What up, though? And she now owns and operates two spaces, even two or three. She has absolutely been crushing the game, and I'm so excited for her, y'all. She's been able to generate hundreds of thousands with her space. Next, everybody say congratulations to Khadija. She said it's official, y'all. I got the keys to my space. It's moving ready. I'm going to do some updates. 2,780 square foot with kitchenette, two bathroom storage, and office. And look how amazing it looks, y'all. We will show you guys how to find a space that's already done. And very quickly, for those who are on here, I want to just kind of let y'all know. I talked about why I'm showing y'all this. The reason why I got to show you other people just like you who own space is because a lot of you are like, well, Neo, it's easy for you. Neo, you got money. So when I talk about our three spaces, it won't have as much of an impact as somebody who you may know, somebody you may have heard of. So it's very important that we show you guys this. Everybody say congratulations to Marcus, Melissa, and Rashira. And also salute to Rashira. She just opened up her second space using no money out of her pocket, y'all. And I'm excited for her being able to do that. Next, everybody say congratulations to Shanique. She says, hey, y'all. So we hosted our first event this weekend. We're hosting a viewing party for one of the talents of the Netflix series, The Mo and the Sweet One. Birthday celebration. I have a few updates I would like to make. But overall, things went really well. Here are a few picks. Think about that, y'all. Y'all first event, y'all renting it out for Netflix. Next, everybody say congratulations to Chris. And I love this post she put. Finally got my keys for my space. After a long month of searching and people turning down my business proposal, I finally got the space in a part of town I wanted in. Execution over excuses. About to fix this place up and run up a bag, y'all. You heard what she said. After a long month. I'm like, yeah, right. A month is fast. So everybody say congrats to her. Next, everybody say congratulations to Willis. Tracy and LaShonda. LaShonda, actually, y'all, she's one of our elite students, and she's literally crushing it. Um, she's a full-time teacher. She's doing about twenty-five dollars to $30,000 a month as a full-time teacher, y'all. Crushing it. So everybody say congratulations to her for doing her thing. I'm super excited for her. Next, everybody say congrats to Oyinka, man. I'm super excited. I had the opportunity to spend a little bit of time with Oyinka last year at her venue in Florida. And she just locked in her second space, what opens up in June. And she already got, I think she said, 10 bookings. But the reason why she had to go ahead and lock up a first, a second space, because last year her business alone generated over $300,000. And she was overbooked and was giving away so many jobs. So that's a great sign when you got to open up your next space. Next, everybody say congratulations to Melissa, y'all. Grand open that function at the junction was a huge success. I had an awesome turnout and four people booked on the spot with many more interested. Let's get it. Next, everybody say congratulations to Kendra, Antoinette, and Philip. They all just got their spaces, y'all. As, Phil as Philip says, what up, fam? Just wanted to stop in and say I got the keys today. Somebody in the chat say I'm getting my keys ASAP. Um, again, congratulations to Kevin, y'all. He just opened up his space, two spaces. And the dope thing is somebody in the chat say all money in. One of the things that we teach in our training, right, in our program is how to make sure you're getting the most money out of your space. If you guys read what it says, it says second space up and running. Welcome to unique event hall. The core by Let's Be Unique, my wife's decorating business. So they're making the money from the space and they're making the money from the decorations, right? Now, 
With that being said, let's go ahead and get into it. So for those who don't know me, y'all, I want to take a quick five minutes to let you guys know who I am and what I do. I'm not going to spend an hour on my story like most people do, simply because I don't have the time. Um, and I just want to be able to just give you guys an understanding of who I am. But before I do that, right, one of the things I want you guys to put in the chat, right, I want you guys to write the word promise. And the reason why I do this is I got a mastermind of $75,000. We just came back from Dubai the end of last year. I took 55 people with me out to Dubai. Right, my masterminds people paid anywhere between thirty five thousand to hundred k to be in there. Right, everybody who came to Dubai with me, they are extreme executors. When I talk about they put in work, they put in major work. Why am I sharing this with you all? And the reason why I'm sharing this with you all because when you don't pay, you don't pay attention. There's no transaction. There's normally no transformation. I need you guys to act as if it is costing you money to be here. So you could take this information serious because I truly believe that if you fully tap in, fully lock in on the information, I believe this could be the information that changes everything for you. But I need you guys to fully commit to the information, right? So very quickly, quickly about me for those who don't know, I've been featured on Fox 29. I've been featured on Channel 10. I've been featured on, let me move my screen. Fox 29, I've been featured on Channel 10. I've been featured on Black Enterprise. I've been awarded by State Farm. I've been awarded by TD Bank. I've been awarded by the White House. I actually had the opportunity to speak there. Um, I've been awarded by the Philadelphia Eagles. I've been awarded by the Philadelphia Sixers. I've been awarded by McDonald's. I've been awarded by the Neighborhood Award, Steve Harvey. I've been awarded by City of Philadelphia. And as of recently, I've had the opportunity to get a street named after me. Actually, the block that I grew up on is now Nehemiah's Way on 52nd and Gerard. So I'm really excited about those uh, accomplishments, right? In addition to that, you guys, y'all can follow me on Instagram. There's my Instagram, uh, my Instagram over there. Uh, I was, I guess, verified on there before they started the new verified thing, I think four years now. But check me out on Instagram, YouTube, and TikTok so you guys can get a whole bunch more free content. Now, very, very quickly, by far, uh, one of my biggest flexes is not the cars, is not the houses, is not the 30 employees, is not what we're doing in our business. My biggest flex to date and something that I, I, I hold revere, something that makes me extremely proud is have I had the opportunity to retire my mother and my wife, right? And the other thing is every lady you see in that picture, none of them work a job. They all work for either a family business or they started their business. So it feels good to me to know that we somewhat was able to put our family in position. So as you guys see, was able to retire my mom, retire my wife, get my mom her dream car, which was a Range Rover, bought my wife a Lamborghini truck. Um, I've been to 56 countries all around the world. One of my favorite things. Some of you guys might have seen me on Steve Harvey show. Um, I was able to propose to my wife while well, my fiance there, as well as Maxwell was singing to us there and really quickly been married now for about four years now. And I have four beautiful children and I'm so excited about my children because we had three miscarriages and they told us it wasn't possible. Right. So I just want to salute all my ladies here by far. Y'all the strongest y'all deserve so much. Right. But my daughter, destiny 17 ocean is three. Dream is about to be two and King is about to be one. So I got three under three, y'all. So what a experience that we have in our household. So reason why I shared a lot of those things with you guys very quickly. I share with you guys. Uh, we run in a 30 person company. I share with you guys that I've been to 56 countries. I share with you guys all of these awards. Right. I share with you guys. I spent four hundred thousand on my personal development last year. One of the greatest things I've ever done. Um because it has helped me transform and reach an entirely different level. But why am I sharing this with y'all? The reason why I'm sharing this with y'all and the reason why I think this is so important because I want you guys to put in the chat, right? My current situation is not my final destination. I want to say it one more time. My current situation is not my final destination. Some of you are looking at people you look up to. Some of you are looking at people you care about. And you're often comparing yourself and wondering why not me. And the biggest thing that I want people to understand, like, what you're currently going through is preparing you for where God is about to take you. So I didn't always start here because a lot of you probably like, yo, Neil, it sounded like you came from it sounded like you came from a, a privileged background. It sounded like somebody handed you nothing. And the reason why I got to share with you the successes, but also got to share with you some of the failures, because a lot of you here are probably where I once were. So I understand what it's like to have nothing. I understand what it's like to grow up fatherless. I understand what it like to grow up in a drug infested neighborhood. Like I truly understand that. But I was able to overcome all all of those things and I know and believe you're going to be able to do the same exact thing right somebody in the chat say I could do it 
Somebody in the chat right? it's my time, right? So growing up, y'all, my dad been in jail since I was two for committing murder. I grew up in a drug-infested neighborhood. Without a shadow of a doubt, I thought I was going to be a drug dealer because this is what everybody I saw doing, right? I thought like, yo, this is the way out. Um, my mom had one goal. She said, man, I got to it. I got to at least educate my son. So my mom sent me to a private school, 100 it was, a, it was about 50 African-Americans in this school out of 1,000 kids, right? I was the minority. So going to this school, y'all, I got to see so, so many of my wealthy friends, which it brings me to my favorite quote, and I want you guys to write it down for, for just yourself, is once your mind is expanded to a new concept or idea, it's hard to go back to his original way of thinking. And what that simply means is once you believe you can have more, you can become more, and you do more, it's going to be extremely hard for you to settle for less, right? So with that being said, Right. I went to the school, didn't do great. Ninth grade, didn't do great. Tenth grade, didn't do great. Eleventh grade. But what happened to me, I ended up getting kicked out. But prior to me getting kicked out, I would see all my friends. They own mansions. Dads own hospitals, movie theaters, all type of stuff. I started to believe it was possible, even though my act, my actions weren't showing that. So fast forward, I ended up getting kicked out of that school. Had the opportunity to go to college after my next year in high school. Went to college, went great the first couple months. And probably y'all could take a guess what happened to me there. I got kicked out of college. So to this point, y'all, dad been in jail since I was two. I got kicked out of high school. I got kicked out of college. Up until this point, I had nine jobs, and I've been fired from all nine of them. So at this point, I said, man, maybe I'll go try this job thing one more time, right? And I love Donna said, new beginners. I want everybody in this chat to write new beginners because where you currently are, you won't be soon, right? So fast forward, y'all, I worked at a private airport called Atlantic Aviation. At this job, every single day, I would see multimillionaires and billionaires come in and hop off their private planes. I didn't even know this type of world existed, right? And fast forward, I'm like, yo, it is possible for me to create this life, but I understood I need to have a business. Can y'all take a guess what happened to me at the job? I got fired. So to this point, y'all, dad been in jail since I was two, kicked out of high school, kicked out of college, fired from 10 jobs. I want you guys to take a moment. I want you guys to write this down. Never listen to they. Because everybody around me started to say, Neo, the rate you're going, going, you just got kicked out of college now, you're going to be dead or in jail. The rate that you're going, you're going to be your father's sell me. The rate that you're going, you will never amount to anything. The rate that you're going, you will never become great. Like These are the things that these individuals start to say to me. And I'm sure that there's a lot of people in this training right now where there's people telling you, you won't amount to anything. There's people telling you, you won't be great. There's people telling you, it's not possible for you. And oftentimes you are listening, right? So fast forward, y'all, I ended up making up my mind that, yo, enough is enough. Like, yo, maybe these people are right. If I keep doing these wrong things, I won't amount to anything. And in that moment, y'all, I switched everything up. I said, yo, it's time for me to bet on myself and literally make this business work. So 15 years later, y'all, full-time entrepreneur, three-time event space owner now, uh, multiple businesses. We got about five different businesses that we got going on. And literally everything changed when I made a decision. Right. So as we begin to get in here, I want everybody here to make a decision today that you're no longer blaming anybody else from where you are. Right. I need you all to make a decision like after today, you no longer going to operate with fear. Right. After today, you no longer going to make excuses about anything like, yo, there's no excuses. I made up in my mind 15 years ago that I became mentally unemployable and becoming an entrepreneur for me. It had to work or it had to work. And once I did that, y'all, everything in my life changed. So again, I just wanted to share that with you guys because if I could just put that on y'all that, yo, once you stop making excuses, once you start auditing the people you're surrounding yourself with, right? Like one of the things I want you guys to do as we get continue on in the training later on is I literally want you just do an audit tonight. Look at everybody you had a conversation with in the last 90 days, excuse me, last three days. Everybody who you text in the last three days and directly next to the name, I want you guys to write deposit or withdraw. A lot of us are not where we need to be because of the people and the conversations that we're having with other people. So let's go ahead and get into it, y'all. I just wanted to quickly give you guys some of the mindset stuff that I think is so important because so many people are behind simply because of lack of mentality. So for those who don't have it, everybody, go ahead and open up your event space workbook. We're about to go ahead and jump right inside of the workbook right now. Um, and then we're going to jump right into the three steps and keep it moving from there. Uh, let me know how many people on live. Hey, guys, if y'all on live right now, jump on the train and hit the link below. All right, so let's get to it. If y'all don't have one, y'all just go ahead and grab, uh, grab a blank pen and paper. Cool. So everybody take a moment, y'all. This is a commitment statement. Um, this is a... <clears throat> excuse me one second. Uh, 
one second, y'all. You can't find your workbook. Just check your uh, email. All right, cool. So look, let's get to it. So everybody take a moment. Anytime I do a, a speech, anytime I do a talk, I think it's so important that you write a commitment statement to yourself, period, because a lot of us going to give up. And our commitment st statement is very simple. Write it down. Uh, I'm going to do everything in my power to get my own profitable event space in the next three to six months. This space will give me financial freedom and time freedom. I'm willing to put the work in to make it happen. I'm going to say it one more time. I'm going to do everything in my power to get my own profitable event space in the next three to six months. This space will give me financial freedom and time freedom. I'm willing to put the work in to make it happen. I need you guys to sign it. I need you guys to date it. Directly under signing and dating, I really want you guys to take a moment to do this because a lot of you are going to be motivated, right? A lot of you are just excited right now. A lot of you are pumped up. A lot of you are, are happy at this moment because you're learning new information. But life is going to happen to a lot of you, and a lot of you are going to quit. A lot of you are going to give in, right? So one of the things that I want you guys to do is simply write out who are you doing this for? Is it for your mom? Is it for your dad? Is it for your sisters? Is it for your cousins? Like, write down that person that who you do not want to fail. That person you do not want to let down. And as you're writing that person down, the next thing I want you guys to do is I want you guys to take a moment and I want you guys to write out um, what is the reason why you're doing it. Is it for time freedom? Is it for financial freedom? Like, why are you doing what you're doing right now? Cool. Once you got that, let's keep moving forward. Uh, next, let's keep going. So very quick, y'all. Again, I know I, I'm on mindset, but I'm be honest. I can show you guys how to make money all day long. One of the biggest hacks, or one of the biggest things that I see was wrong with with people in general is their their belief system. It's the things they're saying to themselves. Like the mental game is so it, the mental game is crazy. Like it is so easy to fall out of the game. It is so easy to want to quit. It is so easy to want to give in. So one of the biggest keys that I teach my clients is, yo, you got to get in the mental game first. You have to know without a shadow of a doubt this entrepreneurship stuff is going to work. You have to know without a shadow of a, a doubt my business is going to work. I want you all to put that in the chat, right? My business is going to work, right? So very quick, um, take a moment, write down money comes easily, frequently, and abundantly, y'all. So every day I still say to myself certain affirmations that has literally impacted my life, like certain things that I'm saying to myself, right? So write it, say it down five times, write it down five times, comment the word, done. Next affirmation, um, I'm a profitable event space owner. Say that to yourself five times, y'all. Write it down five times, comment the word, done. And let's keep moving forward. So very quick, this is going to be a, a very important piece to what we're going to talk about later on when we get later in the workshop. Um, I'm about to have you guys take a moment to write down certain things about these spaces that you're looking for that you're about to acquire. And the reason why this is so important, y'all, is because you're going to see like a lot of the things that I'm going to show you guys in one of the steps. And, and I believe in step two is going to literally set everything up. So doing this activity is going to be very important for you guys. Anyway, y'all, let's go ahead and take a moment. So we're writing these things as if it, it is already true. What is the name of your event space, right? Go ahead and take a moment, write it down. And when you're coming up with your name, y'all, it should be something that is marketable, right? It should be something that got space in there. It should be something that got venue in there. It should be something that got banquet hall in there. It should be something around those things. What is the name of your event space? Next, what city and state will your event space be located in? Ideally, when you get your space, guys, you don't want it to be any more than 30 to 45 minutes from your home when you first get in it. Next, when is the grand opening date? Tell people all the time, in order to be prolific, gotta be specific, right? The month, the date, the year. Next, why is it important for you to own an event space other than money? You identify what that is, because there's a lot of people now in my program, Oyink is doing, she she just did $31,000 last month, right? Uh, Tanisha did $198,000 last month with her space, right? So I, I share this with y'all, like the money is gonna come but what's the other reason? Like, it's something that got to keep y'all going. It might be financial freedom. It might be retiring your wife, your husband. It might be firing your boss. I don't know what that thing is for you, but identify what that is. Next, what is your monthly income goal you want to generate in 2023 with your event space? How much money do you want to generate every month? Profit? How much profit you want to generate every single month? We got clients that make $3,000 in a month. Profit, we got clients that make 5,000. We got clients that make 10,000. We got clients that make 15. We got clients that make 20. We got clients that make 25. Like, 
it really depends on what you're willing to do. Tanisha made a hundred thousand dollars last month, ninety-eight thousand to be exact. Right? I'm sure half of that was probably profit. Next, are you ready to take action to get the space? Of course you are. So cool. Let's keep moving forward. Um, what color is the exterior of your venue? So ideally, y'all, um, one of mine is red brick. One of mine is uh, black. I painted it from purple to black because I wanted to make sure it was appealing. I didn't really like it. Um, next, what color is the interior of your venue? So when you guys get a venue, right, one of the things I recommend you do, you paint it white or you paint it gray. And the reason why you want to do this, you want to make sure your, your, your venue is versatile as possible. And you want to make sure that your venue appeals to the masses, right? So one of my sister's uh, Skittles, Mary, Miss Skittles, she got a venue called Girl My Museum, and she got one called The Bakery. It's 100% for ladies only, right? So she can go ahead and paint her venue pink. I don't recommend you painting your venue pink. I don't recommend you painting your venue uh, orange. Like, don't paint your venue a color that doesn't appeal to everyone. Why? Because what you're doing is you're alienating potential business because somebody come in your building like, oh, I don't like the color. You don't want anybody saying no to you for, for a reason such as that. Um, next, what type of floors and what color of floors? I recommend you guys go luxury vinyl floors, right? Don't go to a dollar square. Go up to at least $3 square foot. And again, one of the ways we show you guys, we teach you how to find a space that may don't need anything. But if you did have to put a floor in, we recommend you go luxury vinyl. And the reason why we recommend luxury vinyl, because you want to make, and I want y'all, this is important, put it in the chat, indestructible. You want to make your venue literally as indestructible as possible, which means how can I make this venue where literally nothing will affect it? So luxury vinyl floors, you literally could go in and take water, leave it on there for months, and it will be fine because it's waterproof floors. Second type of floor I recommend you get is a epoxy floor. And the epoxy floor is just essentially is your already a cement floor where they're putting something over it like a coat that also makes it indestructible. Why? Because you want to make as much money as you can from your venue with minimum work. Oh, I got to go ahead and fix the floor. It's chipped. I got it. No, how can I didn't actually I had a flood at one of my venues. Right. But outside of that, I never had an issue with my floor other than every few months. We put another coat on top of the floor. But with with the epoxy, you probably won't have to do that for years. Next, um, how many people will your venue hold? I recommend that you guys get a venue that holds anywhere from 50 to 150 people. So the square footage on that is 1,000 to 3,000 square feet. Next, everybody write down. And y'all put these things in the chat. Everybody write down. What's one cool feature you guys want at your venue? So one of the things I recommend, everybody venue needs to have a cool feature, Right. This might be shivari chairs. It might mean a grass wall, right? It might mean a bar that you may have in there. It might mean LED lights going throughout the venue. It might mean up lights. Like, how can you make your venue stand out when somebody walk in their venue? Like, it's, it's no comparison that I want to bring my business to you. So just think about that. How do I make my venue stand out? That's very important. Next, let's get right into it, y'all. So why should you get an event space? So again, we're going to break this down. I'm going to make this very quick and very easy in terms of this topic, why you should get an event space. And let me know if you guys are enjoying the workshop already so far. Let me know in the chat if you guys are enjoying it. And guys, if you're on Instagram Live, go ahead and click the link in my bio so you could join right now. Hop into training. We need to get a post up, if not. Cool. So very quick, let's get into it. So why should you, uh, why you should get an event space? So by far, y'all, I'm going to stand on it. I'm going to keep saying it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to preach this until I'm blue in the face is I don't believe there is another better form of real estate getting getting an event space. I'm not going to break down in great detail why I got event space, but I'm going to quickly give you a small story. I'm not going to give you the 15-minute story. I'm going to literally clip this down to five minutes. So one of the reasons why I got in the event space game was one of my buddies said, yo, you need to get into real estate. I'm like, yo, what are you talking about real estate? Like, yo, you need to get into commercial, not commercial, excuse me. You need to get into residential buy and hold real estate. I'm like, why would I do that? He said, because every single month you could do something called collect rent. And at that time, I'm like, yo, I didn't know nothing about making my money work for me. I didn't know nothing about getting an asset that could pay you every single month. So I was able to find a property. It took me about a year. I fixed it up, did all of those things. I moved this tenant in, y'all, November 1st. This tenant gave me first month, last month security. At that time, this property, I was charging $750 per uh, 
month. So she gave me first month, last month security. I literally felt rich. I had $2,250 smacked the palm of my hands, and I said, it is up. So November, uh, November, she stayed there. December, went to go get my rent, nothing. December 5th, came back to get my rent, nothing. January 1st, came, nothing. Somebody said, yo, you got to take her to eviction court. I went down to eviction court, went in to file a claim. They said, hey, you're going to have to come back because it's January 1st. This lady got five kids. There's no way we're going to put this lady out of her house. I'm like, all right, cool. Came back February. We started the process, ended up getting her out in March. So this lady stayed in my house November, December, January, February, March. I made no money. So I got burnt. Mind you, everybody write this down in the chat. It has to work or it has to work. I'm going to be honest. I did not have that mindset then. So what I ended up doing, y'all, I fixed the property back up. Once I fixed the property back up, I re-rented out to somebody else. First month, last month security. I actually felt good because this time the lady actually gave me my first month rent. Fast forward. After that, the lady stopped paying me. I had to get her out of the property. So now I'm like, yo, 100%, I'm done with real estate. A few months later, I get a call from my brother Corey like, yo, bro, I got a property um, that I would love to go half with you and already own it. All you got to do is help fix it up, get it rented, and we'll split the monthly rent. In my mind, I'm like, bro, you have no clue how bad I'm doing with these properties. You don't want to do that with me, in my mind. He ended up doing it with me, y'all. We got our first month rent, and then we didn't get no rent after that. I literally quit real estate. Fast forward, at the time, I had a brand called Peace in Philly. For those who don't know, 2022, literally, Philly had to be probably one of the top five murder capitals of the world last year. When I started my brand, I started the brand because so many murders were happening in Philly. It was ridiculous, right? So I had this growing brand. I was riding around meeting all of these people selling shirts, everybody shipping shirts. And one of my buddies who I was working with about a year into the brand, like, yo, bro, you ever did anything at a vending, a vending event, right? You ever do anything at a vending event? I'm like, no, I never done anything at a vending event. What that mean? Right? In, in. And Eric, I see a question. Ask it at the end. I'm going to answer all the questions. Have I ever done anything at a vending van? I'm like, no, what's that? He said, you come set up and you come, you come to a space, you set up your clothes and you just sell your merch at a business event. I'm like, no, I never heard of a vending event. Let me do it. My first time doing a vending event, y'all, I made a thousand dollars. I was hooked. So I went to some my event venue. I set up a table, set up chairs and I sold my merch. For the next year straight, I vended at so many people's events because now I had to ride around the city trying to hustle these shirts. So about into that year, somebody said, bro, you ever thought about having your own event? I'm like, no, but it sounds like a good idea. He said, run the same play that we've been running. Find you a venue, host the event, have vendors to help pay for the cost, and there you go. So I ended up doing it. I'm the guy who's like, anybody give me every business that I currently have to date. Was the business that somebody said, yo, you should look into this, and I did it. Like, every business that I have or anything that I ever do, oftentimes, y'all, it's not just because I'm this creative human being. It's because somebody said, yo, Neo, this is something you should look into. And I happen to look into it, and I just do it, right? Somebody say success loves speed. When somebody successful tell you to look into something that's working for them, I do it as quickly as I can. So fast forward, y'all, ended up having my first event, y'all. It was a huge success, had hundreds of people come. I didn't really make any money, but it was successful. I start doing that for the next several months, event after event, hosting my own events. I realized that, in all honesty, y'all, I was never really making money. And at this particular venue I was using, I never, ever met the own owner. So one of the things I want you guys to write down, because this is so important, like the people who make the most money in the event space industry is the owner of the venue. I'm going to say it one more time. The people who make the most money in the event space industry is the owner of the venue, right? And let me give you guys, and it, it's so full circle now. So I live in Atlanta, Georgia, right? I live in Atlanta, Georgia, right? Um, I've been here for the last three years, and this is it just gives me an idea about this. So I haven't been to Philly in probably about four or five months, right? But I want to just show you all this. So my, 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 my young lady who runs the venue, she sent me this. From one of our parties yesterday, right? And and, and I, I just thought about it. I'm like, yo, I'm really living this life where people are paying me to use my venue and I don't have to be there. Y'all, that was $1,100 I got paid. The other day at one of our spots, right? This reality show, I can't say the name of this big reality show in Atlanta. Y'all could take a guess in the comments 
paid us eleven thousand dollars to use our space, right? And I'm like, I was in Mexico while they while this was happening, and I'm like, yo. So more of the story, the people who make the most money in this industry is the owner of the venue. Somebody in the chat write, I must become an owner. So fast forward, y'all. I used to have these events. It was two thousand. It was about fifteen hundred dollars to rent the venue. It was two thousand dollars a bar minimum. So I'm in about three thousand dollars just before I even opened my doors. So yes, I was building my brand, y'all. But in all honesty, I wasn't making any money with this space. I was having it every other month, having all these events, wasn't making any money. Which which made me switch it up was for those who don't know, I got a nonprofit. And I'm two minutes away from the steps, y'all. For those who don't know, very quickly, I got a nonprofit called the Nehemiah Davis Foundation, where we literally have served probably over 100,000 people in the last 15 years. And one of the things we do every single year, we do a uh, we take hundreds of kids skiing fully paid for. We take back to school event. We 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 give a thousand kids fully stuffed book bags, moon bounces, clowns, characters, barbecue, everything. Thanksgiving, we bust in hundreds of homeless people, provide them with warm meals, haircuts, coats. And our biggest and most expensive event that we do every single year is our Christmas event where we give a thousand kids fully stuffed, well, well, brand new toys. A hundred of them get brand new bikes, Santa comes, and all of these different things happen, right? And what happens is that event costs us thousands of dollars. So I said, yo, let's go ahead and host a fundraiser at this venue that we've been using. But I realized I can't host a fundraiser because these people want $3,000 for me to just open up the door and we only going to make $3,000, right? So I ended up finding a smaller venue, right? In Philly, in West Philly. And this guy let us use it for $100. My idea was very simple. It was like, how can I put hundreds of people in here, make them all pay $20 and they all bring three, three, three toys. That's what happened, y'all. So all these people came, hundreds of, we raised thousands of dollars. We, we got hundreds of toys. It was just, it was a success. So the next day we ended up having a fundraiser, ended up having a uh, Christmas event. It was a huge success. Top of the year came about January 3rd, January 4th. I start getting all of these calls like, yo, Neo, bro, I was at your, I was at your, your fundraiser event. It was lit. Can I use your venue? I'm like, nope, sorry, ain't my venue. Yo, Neo, what's up, fam? I was at your event the other day. I want to know if I can use it for this event. Sorry, ain't my venue. Hey, Neo, I was at your spot the other day. I wanted to see if I could use it for an art gallery. Sorry, I, sorry, not my venue. Hey, Neo, what's up, bro? I wanted to see if I could use your event for a pop-up shop. Sorry, not my venue. Hey, Neo, bro, what's up, man? Um, Love your venue. Can you give me the price? Yo, take a minute. Hold on. So I end up calling Carl, the owner of that venue, like, yo, I got somebody on the other line interested in using your venue for this date. What should I tell him? He said, send him down to open house. So what I started to do, y'all, was every single call I would get, I'm connecting them or sending them down to open house. Like, meet me here on Wednesday for open house. Meet me here Friday for open house. I did that for the next year straight. I learned the entire event space industry business within one year following this model, right, for an entire year. So I learned everything there was to even think about the event venue, right? So fast forward, as I was doing all of this, somebody said, yo, bro, you ever thought about getting your own space? I'm like, no, but it sounds like a good idea. Mind you, I still had that rental property. So I said, yo, let me do a comparison. Should I go focus on getting the rental property up and running or should I focus on the event space? And quick, quick hack. Y'all, I still believe rental properties work. They just, they aren't as cash flow as much as event space. But the reason why I got burnt was, I, I come to find out this later, that both of them people had evictions on their credit, right? And I didn't know nothing about Section 8. So those things probably would have been fine. And sure, I'm about to get into that in one second. So very quickly, y'all, so I, I started to do a comparison. I said, okay, house, only one tenant, give me $750 a month. Event space. I could, at that time, I was going to rent it for five hundred. Ten people rent my spot a month. That's five thousand dollars in a month. House. If I want to go in and add another tenant, I can't. Event space. If I want to go in and make more money, instead of getting ten tenant, ten venue owner, ten people to use my spot, get eleven, get twelve, get thirteen. House. I only make seven hundred and fifty dollars a month. And if this lady don't pay me, I won't be able to get her out for three to four months. House. I mean venue. Yo, everybody who walks in my venue, we're paid two weeks in advance the entire payment. House. Yo, if, if I don't get paid for this event, if I don't get paid for this event, I'm burnt. Venue, I won't get burnt. So for me, y'all, what decision would you would have made? Is it to make the same exact money off of one house and this tenant got to stay for 30 days? Or is it to have 10, 20, 30 events in one single month at a minimum of $500 to $1,000? And that, my friends, is what made me get inside of the event space industry, y'all. So without further ado, y'all, let's go ahead and get ready to hop in these steps real quick. 
Before we get into it, everybody say congratulations to Petey. Got Petey up here making $10,000 a month, right? Got uh, Dominique up here. Best month was $20,000. Tanisha up here made $98,000 last month. We got Leslie doing $10K a month. We got Tanisha doing $20K a month. Everybody say congratulations, y'all. I'm so excited for them doing their thing. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get ready to hop in these steps. Before we get into it, one more time. What I want y'all to do very quick, because this is where I'm about to give you guys a lot of game very fast. I want everybody right now to take a moment. Take this link that was sent to you. Share it out with somebody who you want to get this information. Share it out with five people right now. I'm like, yo, bro, buddy about to go crazy on this info. So I want y'all to take a moment, share it out with five people right now. Share it out with five people right now. And once you're done sharing it out, comment the word share. Because here's the thing. I tell people this all the time. You don't want to be the only person on your team winning. One is born, and I want, I want to win with everybody. I don't want to be the only person on my team winning. So without further ado, y'all, let's go ahead and hop right into these steps, man. Step number one, how to find your space. Um, so let's get right into it. So again, currently, y'all, we own and operate. We own and operate three different spaces. I'll talk to you guys about the newest one that we just picked up. But I'm so excited about it. I haven't really shared it online. It's been a little over a month and a half, and the space has been performing crazy. I, I'll leave it at that. But I want to go ahead and share with you guys, one, how to find y'all spaces, right? And then share with you guys a whole bunch of steps. But the step one, um, very quickly, y'all, we are looking for a space that is 1,000 to 3,000 square feet as your starter space. Write that down. So you're starting with a space that is 1,000 to 3,000 square feet. Second, and this isn't in any particular area. One of the things I recommend that you do is you are looking for spaces that are in high traffic areas. So when you guys look at my venue on my on my top space, that is the that is Ridge Avenue, 4141 Ridge Avenue. My bottom space is 3848 Lancaster Avenue. Both, both of those venues on a given week got anywhere between 100,000 and 200,000 cars riding up and down the street, right? So what does this mean? This means they're extremely busy spaces. So you want to find a space that is busy. Next thing, when it comes to looking for a space, you want to look for commercial corridors. You want to look for spaces or businesses. And very quick, I forgot to mention this. This must be a commercial space, y'all. This isn't going to be in your auntie's basement. This ain't going to be in your basement. This is not going to be in your backyard. This needs to be a zone as a commercial building, right? So again, I'm recommending you guys looking at a commercial corridor, which are literally a cluster of businesses in a given area. And oftentimes you will find vacant areas and locations where you can go ahead and do this at. So we're looking for commercial corridors, right? Another thing that we're looking for, we're looking for strip malls, right? Another thing that we're looking for, this is my last thing I recommend, meaning this is on the last on the list is I recommend that you also are looking in warehouses. The reason why I don't recommend a warehouse on my highest on my list, simply because when it comes to a warehouse, the thing about the warehouse strategy is you need to be a, a good marketer. Like you need to know how to get yourself out there. And what our program does, we show you how to become a good marketer, but you can't literally go in and you don't want to go to a warehouse and no one knows you exist and you don't even know how to get yourself out there. So commercial spaces, commercial spaces, um, commercial spaces, uh, da, 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 corridors, strip malls, right? Shopping centers. Those are some of the spaces that I'm going to look at and stand alone. In addition to that, you also can write this website down, crexy.com. When you go on Crexy.com, this is one of the sites that we recommend. You literally could type in your area and what you're looking for. 1,000 to 3,000 square feet, high traffic areas. Next, everybody write this down. You want to look for an area that's on the cuffs, right? And for those like, yo, Neil, what you mean by an area that's on the cuffs? Like, you want to look for an event space or a building that's in a spot that hasn't reached its full potential. And the guys, give you guys a prime example. I'm from West Philly, right? My space is in West Philly. I got one in North Philly. But my space on the bottom, the foundation, 3848 Lancaster Avenue, right? You are looking for an area that is a slightly gentrified area. When I got the space, and it's still really the same exact thing, that area was slightly gentrified, meaning it wasn't, it was like, like I'm from West Philly, y'all, right? And where my space is at, they call it the bottom, right? I, for those, any, I don't know if anybody here from Philly, but they call it the bottom, when it started to start getting gentrified, they changed the name from the bottom, right, to University City. 
And the reason why they named that, because if you walk out of my space, and it gives you guys an example, you make a right-hand turn, you walk one minute, you're at Presbyterian Hospital. You walk another minute, you're at Drexel University. You walk another minute, you're at University of Penn. You, you hop in your car, you drive downtown, seven minutes away, you're downtown. Now, you walk out of my space, you make a, a left-hand turn, you literally walk 30 seconds, you're at a police district. You walk another 30 seconds, you got a Chinese store, you got a hair store, you got a Dominican store, you got people outside trapping. Like, But guess what? You are able to get that space for a, fit, for a much better price than you are going to the suburbs, right? You're going to downtown. Like for me, I'm from Philly. I don't recommend anyone ever getting a space downtown. Why? This may not be that for your city, but if you're in a high area, like if you're in a a, a city like a Philadelphia for me, now New York is different because you got your Brooklyn's, you got your Long Island's, that's a different story. But for me living in Philly, I'm not going to go downtown. One, the parking sucks. And two, now you are competing with Marriott. You are competing with the Hilton. You are competing with Four Seasons. You're competing with people that have no budget, right? Which means they can afford to be there. You won't be able to keep your venue up open long enough or even be able to afford to acquire because the price of real estate is far too much money. Let me know in the chat if this is making sense. So I'm literally trying to help you guys not go make a huge mistake like that, right? Like going downtown and parking is bad and, and you just can't even afford to stay in the building. Next, let me give you guys some of y'all, y'all saving grace. What a lot of you guys don't understand is one of the other things that you could do, this is on the ladder is you can rent in the ghetto, meaning you could not rent. You can go out and acquire your space in the ghetto. Why? Because the person you got to convince to book your venue is only the person directly in front of you. You don't got to convince their mom to book this. You don't got to convince their sister. Like, y'all, I'm having a birthday event, right? In Atlanta, Georgia. When I tell my people to get there, they're not asking me where the venue is at. They're just like, yo, when is the day I'll be there? They don't care where the spot is at. If somebody know you, like you, and trust you and want to be there, they're going to do whatever it takes to get there. So all you have to do is become a great communicator to make sure that when that client is in front of you, you make them know I need to book with you. Next, let me give you guys this. This is everybody here saving grace. This is everybody. This is the thing that this is why I've been able to help hundreds and hundreds of people get in the game. So a lot of you here are probably just like me, right? Or was like me, meaning my credit wasn't the greatest. I didn't have a bunch of cash. Like these are the things that happened to me when I first wanted to get in the industry. And someone gave me this great idea that I learned. You can lease your building. You can lease your building. You can rent your building. So the reason why I help hundreds of people get their space because you don't got to buy the building. So the guy wanted $2 million for the three buildings together. That meant for a commercial loan. At those times, rates, I don't know what the rates were then, but 20% down was $400,000. They want 30 to 40% down right now on a commercial building, the traditional way. So that same exact thing would have been 600000 down. I didn't have that type of cash, nor I had the credit. So the cool thing about y'all is now you can go in and acquire a location, and you only need first month, last month security deposit, y'all. And this, my friends, is how you find a space. And this is why I tell you guys, this is the greatest way of getting inside of real estate than anything, because let me give you guys a prime example. Let me give you guys this, because when I even got my space, y'all, before I got my space, I literally was at Warren Buffett's event, right? Um, he had a shareholders event in Omaha, Nebraska, right? I don't know how many years ago, six, seven years ago, whenever I got my space, right? And, and, and somebody said this, cause this is going to be important for you guys. Somebody was like, ask his business partner, Charlie Munger. Charlie Munger is a billionaire, Warren Buffett's best friend and business partner. He said, Hey, Mr. Munger, should I wait to buy the stock? And his exact words was the bird in your hand is better than not one at all. One of the things that I teach people who I coach, people I help is, Every time you wait, it always costs more. So what he said was, go ahead and buy that stock now because it's only going to go up, right? So I tell people, when you hear about the event space game, when you hear about certain things that make sense, you want to go ahead and get started now because it will always cost you more later. Do y'all know it would have cost me more to get started now than it did when I got started seven years ago? It is what it is. So as soon as I hear about things now, I'm, I'm jumping more on top of it, right? And here's another thing. I'm going to keep it all the way real with you. If y'all know Airbnb, you know Toro, you know Uber, none of these people really, like Airbnb, everybody was in the Airbnb, they don't own the apartment buildings. 
They're doing something called rental arbitrage, which is the same exact thing that we are now doing, but we're now doing it with event spaces. And the thing that really put the icing on the cake for me, guys, I want y'all to really understand this is this is for those who do not know. If you guys ever listen to something called Bigger Pockets, right? They talk about their average investor makes $100 per door per month, which means after all the bills are paid, the mortgage, the expenses, they walk away. If they got a, a tenant in their property, they make $100 a month per tenant after everything is paid. Now, a good investor, meaning someone's a little bit better than average, the average person makes $300 to $400 per door. So think about this concept, $300 to $400 per door, which means if you got three people paying you every single month, you're making $900 a month. If you got a triplex, right, you're making $900 a month. If you got, if you got, if you got 30 doors, a 30 unit apartment building, you're making $9,000 a month with a 30 unit apartment building where these people are staying in your building for an entire 30 days. Y'all, which made me get in the game. My bro, Doug, I said, yo, bro, I'm about to go out and buy this property. I said, man, I'm about to go out and lease this property, but I ain't going to own it. He said, bro, do you realize that you're going to make more money in those numbers that you're telling me than most people make in real estate that got 10, 20, 30, 40 units? So my one location, my first location started making me $10,000 a month. I was doing more than my guy who had 15 different buildings, y'all. 15 single family buildings. I only had to deal with one building, one toilet, right? Freaking one water bill, one gas bill, one electric bill. He had to deal with 15 of them and I was making way more money. So this is why I tell people, y'all, if you're averaging $500 to a thousand per profit, every single event, y'all can't tell me there's a better piece of, there's a better thing in real estate. And another quick hack, let me give you guys this. Everybody write this down. For those like Neil, I want to buy my building. It's something called the 203K loan. And real quick, I don't see enough flames in the in, in the comments, y'all. Let me know if y'all getting a lot of value right now. Comment the word value or drop some flames in the comments. Right? Very quick. Everybody write this down. There's something called the 203K loan. And with the 203K loan, it allows you to go ahead and buy a property and only put 3.5% down when you're buying a property. So when you're buying a property, 3.5% down, they roll the construction loan inside of the property. So now you fix that up with that. So you're able to get up to a four unit building. This is called a commercial mixed use building. Commercial downstairs, second floor you may live in, third floor you make an Airbnb. If you're able to get a four unit, you rent that out as well. This is how you literally become financially free, y'all, following this model. So those are the first steps when we talk about finding the space. Next, let's go ahead and jump into step number two. Next, very quick, let me show you guys this, y'all. So this is our new spot that we just locked in. So again, we just had a huge... Uh, so my first two spots are traditional event spaces. My third spot, as you guys can see, is a event space house. So we now use this now for all of our masterminds. So for a lot of you who have the opportunity to join my mastermind, like y'all are going to be able to come spend time with me here, right? Very soon. But essentially, y'all, we literally just did a booking with a reality show, $11,000. Crazy, right? This already in the last 30 days, we generated over $75,000 with this play alone. So this is one of our new pickups, y'all. So now we officially got three event spaces. So just wanted to show y'all that. Um, everybody quickly say congratulations to some of my clients. We got we got Anik here. We got B here. We got all the queen right here. They were all in Houston. I just stopped by Houston, so I went to go check out their spots. Just them alone, y'all, they're generating about 50, 60 grand a month collectively. I'm so proud of them. Um, so look, let's keep moving forward. Very quick, before I even get to it, everybody say congratulations to Demetrius. It's funny, I'm actually about to use their venue here in Atlanta for something because I want to give back to my people. Um, they are inside of our program, but they said, yo, just wanted to share this awesomeness. I just wanted to share this awesomeness with Demetrius. And I were featured in Shout Out Atlanta Magazine and an article went live today. The magazine highlight new entrepreneurs and small business businesses in Metro Atlanta. Next, everybody say congratulations to Shonda. She said, yo, y'all, so I did a thing last Thursday. I separated from my nine to five. Just the thought. I'll let y'all know first since we family. I'm so excited that I don't know how to act. P.S. We're currently hitting over $16,000 so far this month. 20K a month. Here we come. Everybody say congratulations, y'all. So I'm Y'all, I promise you it hit different when you make $1,000 
from one event for, for four hours. It hit different. When you make $5,000 from one event, it hits different. Somebody in the chat says it's hitting. Everybody say congrats to Oyinka. She got her second space. Everybody say congrats to Kelsey. Got his space. All right, let's go ahead and get in step number two. What we got on Instagram? Y'all, if y'all on Instagram, y'all need to come watch live so y'all can actually see my slides. All right, cool. So look, let's get to it, y'all. How to fund your event space. So again, y'all, one of my favorite things is leveraging things. Like a lot of people don't learn anything about the world of leverage. And I think by far it's one of the most important things you guys should learn. So very quickly, y'all, let me know. If y'all getting a lot of value right now on this training, in the chat, let me know. If y'all enjoying this, say I am, right? If y'all if y'all taking massive action once this is over, somebody say I am. And if you know, just comment below how many days you think it's going to take for you to go out and get your own event space, y'all. So anyway, let's get to it. So everybody, OPM, OP, so a few things I talk about, y'all. OPM stands for other people's money, other people's mentors. OPR stands for other people's resources. OPC, other people's connections. OPT, other people's time, and the importance of leverage. So one of the biggest things and mistakes that I've seen that happen to a lot of us is we've listened to our parents, we listen to our peers, we listen to all of these people who we wouldn't want to trade places with, right? I tell people this all the time. One of the ways to kill a big dream is to introduce it to a small mind, right? So we've never been taught, learn how to use other people's money. We've never been taught, learn how to use other people's resources. We've never been taught, learn how to use other people's connections. We've never been taught, learn how to use other people's time. We've never been taught the idea of leverage, using and helping other people, like leveraging other people, their skills, their knowledge, the things they got to help you grow and get to where you need to go faster. The reason why a lot of y'all in this workshop is because y'all want to, y'all want to learn which cost me hundreds of thousands of mistakes and cost me seven years of being in this game. I could teach you things where I can literally go from a decade of information and share it with you in days. That's why y'all here. And that is the important concept of learning the game of leverage. Now, very quickly, let's keep going forward. Step two, let's talk about the pre-marketing matrix. Reason why this concept is so important, guys, is because most businesses in America fell from one simple thing. And it's called lack of awareness and lack of marketing. Lack of awareness and lack of marketing. Most people fail very simply because lack of awareness and lack of marketing. Neil, what do you mean by this specifically, right? I look at a lot of you here. A lot of you are extremely good at what you do, but no one knows what you do. Some of you are the best bakers. Some of you are the best cooks. Some of you are the best uh, content creators. Some of you are the best credit repairers some of you are the best nail techs some are you the best whatever photographers i don't care what it is that you're but you're extremely good at it right but you are the best kept secret no one knows this is what you do so one of the things we talk about with the pre-marketing matrix and earlier on i had you write down what's the what's the name of your venue where's the name where's your venue at like i had you write all of them things down for a very specific reason because you're going to start letting other people know you had these things before they even before it even really exists. So one of the things I want you guys to do with the pre-marketing matrix is I want you guys to go ahead and write tonight. One of the things I want you to do, go on Instagram, secure your Instagram, uh, your username. Go on, on TikTok, username. Go on Facebook, username. Go on LinkedIn, username. Right. I literally want you to go on there right now and secure all your users' name. I want you to go on Fiverr.com or Upwork.com. I want you to go on and get a logo created. So now you are going to look as a professional business owner, now you're talking about you got a space. I mean, you're working on getting your space, but now you got all, all the freaking um, digital assets to go with that. Also, once you guys are going namecheap.com, I want you to go on godaddy.com. I want you to go ahead and buy your URL. It might mean bellabeautyevents.com. It might mean it might mean greatnessevents.com. Whatever the name of your thing is, go tonight and go ahead and secure the domain. And the reason why you want to go ahead and secure the domain and all of these digital assets, because this is step one, right? And again, I don't got time to really jump into trademarks. You guys could go to the Biz Lawyer Instagram. She could assist you guys with that part. But I just want to give you guys the idea. The next thing, next thing is you want to literally start right now letting everybody know you are in the process of opening up your first event space. You want to talk about your mom. I mean, you want to talk to your mom, your dad, your aunts, your uncles, your friends, your sisters, your uncles, whoever it is. Like, you want to start telling as many people as possible that you are in the process of getting your space. Why? Why is this important? Because you want people to start understanding that, yo, you are in a process. So whether it takes a month, whether it takes two months, whether it takes three months, whether it takes six months, 
They know you are in a process, so they're going to come back and see you. So start thinking about every family and friend. Who do you know got a baby shower coming up? Who do you know got a book signing coming up? Who you know got a graduation party coming up? Who you know got a prom send off coming up? Who you know got a bridal shower coming up? Who you know got a wedding coming up? Who do you know that got any of these things coming up? And you just literally want to write down their name, the date of this thing they will have, and let them know that you would love to be able to host it at their event. Next thing I want you guys to do, when we talk about pre-marketing, I want you guys to go up to meetup.com. I want you to go to meetup.com. I want you to go to meetup.com. I want you to go to eventbrite.com. I want you to go to ticketleap.com, right? I want you to go to Google Events, right? And I want you to go ahead and search events in your area by zip code and literally identify everybody you see that got an upcoming event, right? So these big organizations, these regular people, Big organizations, regular people, mom and pop, they got upcoming events. I want you to go ahead and scrape their name, their number, their email. Go ahead and put it in an Excel file and literally email them, text them, let them know, hi, my name is such. I got an event venue opening called XYZ. We would love to host your next event for X amount off. Let us know if we can serve you. Boom. And guess what happens now? When you actually get your spaces, you go ahead and circle back on the block. And now when you circle back on the block, not sir, I said circle back. You basically re-email or contact them people once you get it. But now you just built a database of people who had an event, which likely mean they're going to have another event. So guys, a part of this pre-marketing is literally putting yourself out here. Another quick hack that you guys also going to do is you're going to start connecting with other event space owners. So now when people start reaching out to you for events because you're marketing already, and if you don't have an event, you send it their way and you get a percentage of that. Or you just give it to them for free in hopes that they may give return a favor once you get your venue. So that's the part when we talk about pre-marketing matrix. Now, step number two, event space math before uh, event space math versus job math. Before we get into that part, I want you guys to take a moment to write this down. Some of the events that we are having in our spaces, right? And let me know if you guys are getting a lot of game right now. Some of the events that we're having in our spaces, baby showers, write it down. Book signings, write it down. Seminars, write it down. Repasses, write it down, right? Uh, cooking events, write it down. Movie screenings, write it down. Seminars, write it down. Art gallery, art shows, write it down, right? Uh, uh, bridal parties, write it down. Weddings, write it down, right? Those are just 10, right? You want to literally just start thinking about everybody you know who has having one of them. Again, I'm going to name a few more. Baby showers, book signings, seminars, repasses, weddings, prom send-offs, graduation parties, movie screenings, art shows, right? And the list goes on and on and on. So you want to literally start thinking about who are all these people have then. Next, everybody write this down. Biggest game, biggest key I got to give y'all. Not biggest key, but a huge key I got to give you guys. You have to create event minimals. One of the mistakes that I made earlier on in helping my clients is I had them doing events for 500. I had them doing events for 600. I had them doing events for 700. There's nothing wrong with that. But now I'm teaching all of my clients that your event minimum is going to be $1,000. So everybody write it down. Your goal when it comes to having your events is you want to have an event minimum of $1,000. A minimum, $1,000. Neil, why, why would I want to do a $1,000 minimum? Why? Why? Because our goal is very simple. My goal is for you to, not simple, but the goal is for you to have one event on Friday, write it down. Two events on Saturday, two events on Sunday. If you do that at $1,000 each, what do we have? We got $5,000 in a week. We got $20,000 in a month. We got $260,000 in a year. Now, let's scale back. A lot of you on here, y'all, and y'all still don't even believe it's possible. So let's go ahead and scale back a little bit, right? A lot of you like, yo, bro, I don't even know if this is possible for me. So, okay, cool. Let's scale it back. Three events. That's one event on Friday. That's one on Saturday. That's one on Sunday. One on Friday, one on Saturday, one on Sunday. That's $3,000 in a weekend. That's $12,000 in a month. It's $144,000 in a year. Everybody write this down. This does not include your holiday event calendar. This does not include your, 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 your monthly clients that I'm going to show you how to get. This does not include your political partners I'm going to show you how to get. This does not include your contract. Our secret, I got a secret, a secret strategy that we use to help you pay your overhead in your first few months once you find this particular client. 
right? It does not include your, your, your co-working space if you do that. It does not include your weekday events. This is just money that you're making on the weekend from doing regular stuff. Three events in a weekend, y'all. That's 12 events a month. It's not unrealistic. Now, let's take it enough of it. Everybody in this chat right stretch. My new thing that we're teaching all of our clients, y'all, and we're going to literally show you how to do this through our, 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 our packaging secrets is how do we help you now get $5,000 per event? If you do one of them a weekend, one $5,000 event a weekend, you got $20,000 at the single end of the month. Neo, why am I talking about this? Because you have your premium clients and you have your clients who aren't necessarily premium. But again, y'all, we just had somebody give us $11,000 to use our venue, y'all, for a day. Think about that. We just had somebody give us $12,000 to use the venue for a day. That was our premium client. You get one of them once a week, let alone twice a month, you're up. So keep that in mind, right? One of our strategies that we're going to teach y'all when y'all get in a program is how to get $5,000 minimum per event. So y'all know, I talked to you guys, Tanisha Madison, she made $98,000 last month. That's not from doing $1,000 events. That's from clients paying $2,500, clients paying $5,000, some clients possibly paying more. Why? Because we're getting more money. So next, let me give you guys this when we talk about the math. Very quickly, because a lot of people talk about that's gross revenue. Let's talk about your expenses. Neo, what are my expenses that operate this? You got water bill, electric bill, gas bill, Wi-Fi bill, mortgage or rent, supplies, your, your virtual assistant, your event manager. That's what runs these places. I show you how to get the virtual assistant and the event manager for free. So think about that concept like... You guys, my, 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 my locations before, when I first got them, one of them was $1,400 a month plus all everything else on top. It came to about 19. My other one was $1,700. And we're going to show you guys how to negotiate y'all because I got my spot from being $3,000 a month to $1,700 a month. My $1,700 spot came up to like 2,400 after everything. I was paying around $3,500 just for the rent of two spaces. That's how much my apartment cost me in Atlanta, Georgia. And my apartment made me no money. So again, I just wanted to go ahead and break that down for y'all. And really quick, just so you guys got an idea, my last job y'all made me, oh yeah, insurance. Thank you, Leroy. Insurance is a million dollar insurance policy, y'all. We show you guys how to get that. They're vary between $37 to $100 a month. Insurance, bingo. It's the same exact bills you got at, got at your house. So everybody write this down very quick because I really want y'all... Time is more important than money. So my last job, y'all, I worked 50, I worked 40 hours a week. I worked hour going there, hour coming home, hour preparing. So I really worked 55 hours a week, 220 hours a month. I made $1,500 a month. So in all, in all reality, I really was making like $6 and something an hour. Y'all, how many events do I have to do? At that time, we were charging $700 an event. I only need to do two events at my venue to replace my job income. I'm not telling you guys to share it in the chat, but right on your paper, like, yo, how many events do I need to do to replace my job income? How many events do I need to do to replace my job income? So that's, that's what I wanted to get y'all there. Next, let's keep moving forward. Step number two, the ultimate leverage credit play. And very quick, one other hack, y'all, that we show you guys how to do is how to literally use your event space. Like one of my, one of my friends, Pat, he was paying spaces $1,900 a month. We found him an event venue where he had, he, he do real estate. He was paying them $1,900 a month. We found him an event venue on Gerard Avenue in North Philly, started paying them $1,500 a month. He moved his team who worked nine to five to come work, the venue, work inside of the venue from nine to five. So now that company still essentially paid for the venue, right, to use. And now essentially everything that came from the venue was all profit. So a lot of you could be using your venue as your storage unit, right? If it has a basement or a storage here, you could be using it as your office for your regular business or whatever you normally may do. And that can help cover your costs. Cool. And guys, there's a Q&A box up top. I'm going to answer, like Lita just put a question. Does this include furniture for your events? We include tables and chairs. If you guys go up top, you'll see a Q&A box right there at the end. I'm going to go ahead and knock out as many questions as we can. And just let me know in the chat if you guys are enjoying this, right? I want y'all guys to write. If y'all, if this is premium info, if y'all know y'all getting mad game, just put it in the chat. Let me know. 
So next, let's keep moving forward. So next quick thing, y'all, the ultimate leverage play is credit. One of the biggest mistakes that we've been told, right? Y'all, can I drink some water? Let me get a second, y'all. Let me get drink some water. Oh, and I didn't even get to show y'all this. We got to cash these, y'all. The reason why I want y'all to understand this game, y'all. So remember when I told you guys about our monthly client? Here's one monthly client. Y'all see that? $1,500 a month. That's Let, let, let me let y'all see how many checks this is. So it's one, two, three, four, five. Right? I just want y'all to see this. So every single month, I got one client for the last two years that's given me $1,500 a month. Remember, my, my rent on that spot now $2,100. One client, $1,500. No, it's hard to see. But moral of the story is $4,500. But the game, the game is everybody right OPM. OPM. How can I get use and leverage other people's money? So anyway, y'all, so one of the things that we haven't been taught, which is so important, is the importance of leveraging credit. Like, no one never teaches us the importance of leveraging credit and why this is so important, y'all. And one of the things is I tell people this all the time, like, you got to learn the game of credit because this is how we really get ahead. If you know how to leverage it and if you are responsible. So earlier this year, y'all, again, we bought that brand new property. We we dropped 107000 on furniture and all of that, but I use my credit to do everything, right? So seventy six thousand we spent on American Express Blue Cash, one hundred sixty five thousand I spent on my Platinum, one hundred fifty seven thousand I spent on my business gold, twenty eight thousand I spent on my business cash. So we add that up, it's one hundred fifty seven thousand on one car, one sixty five on another. That take it to about three fifteen plus seventy six. Implore. I spent four hundred thousand dollars on my credit, right? Uh, on January, right? This this was from January, top of the year, right when we closed on this property. And a lot of people are like, yo, Neil, why would you do this? So granted, y'all, we have multiple businesses, right, that generate well over what we spend every single month, right? So with this $400,000 that we spent, I literally was able to spend that money at the beginning of the month and make it back at the end of the month and never use any of my own money. And I paid it all off with all of my new revenue. So this is the name of the game when it comes to leveraging credit. Like, how can I take someone else's money to help me get inside of the game and then pay it back? Now, again, you got to know what you're doing. Now, let me go ahead and give you guys a few couple cards that I recommend that you guys use. Um, so one of the cards I recommend you guys use, and this is a card that they essentially approve. One of the things I want you guys to do is go to bankrate.com. When you go to bankrate.com, y'all, when you go here, it will literally give you a list based on your credit score, what cards they recommend that you use. One of the cards that I recommend everybody get, and if you have an LLC, they will approve you right there. At least you got to have a 680 credit score, but the American Express Simply Cash Plus card. Another one that they approve you guys right away is the Blue Business Cash card, right? And let me see, where is this? Is that in my, show y'all what this looks like. Um... So this is the Blue Business Cash. It's a regular American Express Platinum. But what I want you guys to do is you go ahead and apply for the Business Blue Cash. You, you go ahead and apply for the Simply Cash, right? And the other thing is the dope thing about applying for American Express is once you get, a pro, once you get approved for one, they only hit you with one inquiry. So now you literally can go ahead and approve for a whole bunch of other cars in that same time. So those are two cars that I recommend that you guys go get. Another card that I recommend you guys, and I meant to talk, tell you guys about this. It is so important for you to find cars that have 0% interest. So one of the things you guys could do, go and chat GPT-4 and say, hey, give me a list of credit cards that got 0% interest for 12 months. They will literally spit out a list of credit cards that you could use that got 0% interest. Right. And the idea behind using the zero percent interest is you want and, and these are like floor and decor. Write that down. Another one is floor and decor. Another one is Home Depot. And the idea about about using a zero percent interest credit card is you're able to literally go ahead and get this credit card. Zero percent interest. They give you a thousand dollar limit, five thousand dollar limit, ten thousand dollar limit. And you won't pay any interest on those purchases 
until the teaser rate is over. So a year is over, two years is over, three years is over, right? So that's one of the things that you want to look for. Another thing you want to ask chat GPT for or call companies and look, here's another quick play is you want to look for companies that when you are opening a credit card, they also are giving you balance transfer checks. And if they're giving you a balance transfer check, I've had several people take a balance transfer check on a 0% interest credit card, and they literally write their first month, last month, and security deposit to their landlord off of the credit card and never use any of their own money. Oh, are, yo, hold on. Are y'all getting this, what I'm giving y'all right now? Are y'all getting what I'm getting? Hold on, man. I might be doing, I might be going too fast and giving y'all too much, man. Let me know if y'all catching this. And this is the free game. How many people know, bro, just the game you giving me now, I got to get in y'all program. I got to be a part of this. Like, bro, the game you giving for free, I got to get in this game. I got to learn how to do these $5,000 events, these $10,000 events, these $1,000 events. And let me let y'all know good news, and I'll continue on. Several of you, y'all going to join my program tonight for free, just so y'all know. And I'll get to that in about 20 more minutes. A lot of you private messaging me like, bro, how do I pay? Like, I literally saw 70 of y'all message me that already. Hold on. I got y'all. Let me keep giving y'all some game though. So anyway, you use the balance, you use the balance balance transfer. Another couple cards that let me give you guys is a uh, Brex card. This is if you have bad credit. Mercury card, this is bad credit. No PG, no PG card is Office Depot, right? Office Depot card. Another no PG car is your Stripe corporate car. So those are some of the cars. Now, next thing you guys want to look for when it comes to leveraging other people's money, one of the other things you guys want to look up is I want you guys to write this down. Write down no doc loans. Tamika, can you write that message that you just wrote to me and don't make it private? So many of you are sending me private messages. Tamika Washington wrote, yo, he's correct. I did this for my renovations. Use those checks. $18,000. It's powerful. So anyway, let's keep moving forward. I got I got to the, I got to do this ASAP uh Delina. Yo, if y'all getting a lot of yo, real quick, rate 1 to 10 what y'all think about the workshop. And another thing, I want y'all to rate. Let me know um how how did y'all hear about me? Like let me know online. Let me know how y'all found me. Let me know how y'all found me. If you're looking at that screenshot, that or I don't know if you're looking at that part. So, so let's keep going, right? So, next thing, everybody write it down. No doc loans. So, I want you guys to look up and find no doc loans. So, what a no doc loan is? There are banks that will literally give you upwards to fifty grand with no documentation. So one of the banks I recommend is, is called Key Bank. So Key Bank got about 13 banks, 13, well, dozens and dozens of banks, but currently they're in about 13 states and they will give you up to a $50,000 a 50, loan, right? With very small interest uh, without no documentation. This is a stated loan, meaning if you say you make 100,000, 200,000, now I'm not telling you to go lie, but they're not going to verify any of these things that you are saying. So again, you still need to be honest, but the idea is that you go here and you get a no doc loan where you don't got to have to furnish two years tax returns. You don't got to furnish your W-2s. You don't got to do any of those things. It's a no doc loan. They will also give you a business line of credit. They also give you a personal credit card. And they also give you a business credit card. So I have people that walk inside a key bank and walk out with 30 grand, 40 grand, 50 grand, 75 grand, 100 grand just doing that. Now, another thing that you guys want to look for, in addition to like the key banks, you want to look for other small banks in your city. And these are ideally called community banks. And you want to call them and say, hey, I'm interested in learning more. Right. I'm interested in learning more about your no doc loan program. Can you also let me know, do you have any friendly lending products for entrepreneurs? Next, let's keep going. One of the other things I recommend you guys do, once you guys get approved with these specific, uh, once you get approved with these specific credit cards, one of the things you guys now want to do is you want to go ahead and call back the credit card and you literally want to say, hey, um, can I, you want to ask for the reconsideration department. And when you're asking for the reconsideration department, one of the things that you guys want to do is you want to say, um, hey, super, you know, like, 
basically they just approve you for your car. You want to literally reach back out and ask for a line increase. Like, hey, I would love to make you guys one of our preferred lenders. I would love to make you one of our, excuse me, not preferred. I would love to make you our preferred credit card of choice. Um, is there any way you can increase my limits? And oftentimes they will literally give you an increase right there on the spot. Now, here's the other question you want to ask. When they're doing this, you want to say, is this going to be an inquiry, a soft in Like, you don't want no more inquiries. The reason why they normally would do this right away, because they just applied. So the inquiry, they already just got the inquiry. So normally they won't hit you with another inquiry. And believe it or not, 50% of these companies will literally give you an increase right there on the phone. Or they'll let you know, yep, yeah, maybe in 24 hours, maybe in 48 hours, something like that. So that's one of the concepts when we do that. So just told you the banks to go to. I just gave you some banks. You also could go to a Truist Bank, right? That's another great bank. Another bank is DCU. These are some of the uh, banks that you guys can go to. Um, April Nixon, I appreciate you saying I, I brought your book when you first started. I was at your very first book sign. I appreciate that, April. Thank you. All right, let's keep moving forward. So now... Yo, how many of y'all getting a lot of game? Let's keep moving forward. But anyway, real quick, I want y'all to read this because this is so important. Thank you, Nehemiah, for this amazing exposure. First time in my 33 years on this earth, I've learned how OPM works. Call it ignorance, but hey, I'm just happy I got exposed and was open to taking massive action. My wins for the day, I got approved for 25K on this car, 8K on this car, 10K on this car. I found a place that is a potential currently in negotiation to get some build out and expenses then taken care of. And guys, I'm going to literally, when you guys get in our program, we're going to show you how to do build outs. We're going to show you guys how to negotiate. The biggest mistake I see so many people do, they go get in this game, sign a bad lease, and then you want me to try to help you. Don't go make these mistakes that most people make. Appreciate the support. Um, next, what we say? Um, Sierra says, yo, I took major action yesterday. And it was because Nehemiah Davis approved for the following business credit cards, platinum card, gold card, blue card, platinum personal card. Cool. Next, look at Sade. Had a credit money partner, OPM, OPM run the play. We learned at the conference. Y'all know what it means. We're going car shopping. They ran a Toro play, made 100 grand last year, y'all. But they ran this play that I'm literally breaking down, and they got $60,000 in credit using other people's money. And that's one other concept I want to give you guys very quick. When it comes to, somebody say now. Like, somebody said, Michael said, I'm taking action tomorrow. Everybody say now. Now mean no opportunity to waste it. You got to get, like, whatever you could do when this is over, you want to start now, not tomorrow. Like, I know you might can't go look at spots till tomorrow, certain things you can't do tomorrow. But you want to get in the process of taking action now. Somebody say success, love, speed in the comments. Somebody say I am an action taker. Like you got to literally put your mindset in the process of, yo, how do I take action quick? How do I keep taking action on this? So anyway, let's keep moving forward. And then one other thing, very quick. Now, and I'm learning about this. Like, and I and and I'm probably gonna have somebody break this down at our conference. So one of the things that a lot of our people have been doing, y'all, and and I'm. It's something called 401k, which we all know. There's also something called a self-directed 401k, where you literally could go ahead and borrow the money out of your 401k and literally go ahead and get an event space because it's real estate, because it's like an Airbnb, right? Now, again, consult your legal for that, but these are things that people do. You got money sitting there. Another play that I taught people how to do is literally go to other people. You may like, Neil, I don't have any money. It's not about having any money all the time. Sometimes you need to be resourceful. You go to a, a few friends. Hey, can y'all all put $1,000 up? Can y'all all put $3,000 up? You go raise $10,000, right? You go raise $15,000. You let them know you're going to either give them a return on their money at a certain percentage, 10, 10 to 20% on their money, or you will make them your business partner and you won't put any money up. You will just be the equity partner. Which means I will run all of the spaces. I don't put no money up, but I run them and we split it 50-50. There's people right now who love you like, bro, I'll bet on you. You go do all the work and we split it. I'll put the money up. I'll leverage my credit. So a lot of times when people talk about I don't got no money, no, you, you got to get resourceful, right? 
So let me share these last two things. We're going to jump on step number three. Let me know if y'all getting a lot of game in the chat. Somebody say, I am. If you are a comment, yes. So Nikisha says, hey, y'all, that time of the month. And I purposely left this here, y'all. We well into 2023 right now, right? So she put this out January 1st, 2021. She said, it's that time of the month, y'all. Wanted to be transparent and give you guys some motivation. I'm not doing nothing special. I don't decorate. No churches. No open houses. No running back to my space for tours. No pay ads. No kickbacks to any decorators. Just going with the flow. She made $16,208, not even implementing everything else that I teach. One more time. She made $16,208. January 1st, 2021. We're talking about well over two years ago running these plays. Right? Another one. I got to read this because this is so important for me. Um, <clears throat> Look at Khadija. This is one of our plays that we teach. This is how you get to 5K events. She said, yo, tonight open house was awesome. Three out of our four clients booked, and two out of the three went with the Platinum Plus add-ons. Understand this, y'all. Like, your clients are different. Like, you need to have multiple packages for all of your clients because everybody don't want the cheap package. My biggest mistake for years earlier on was we only offer one package when somebody went the premium package. So anyway, uh, this is from Kim. I love this message she put years ago. She says, do y'all ever just sit and think about how many businesses that you have helped? Nehemiah, she says, this was written to me. Do you ever just think about how many businesses? Nehemiah Davis, do you ever just sit and think about how many businesses that you have helped create in our communities by sharing your knowledge and building the community? I hope you realize how big of an impact that you have made on so many people's lives. What you have contributed will set up the future generations of the people you have impacted. Family, let's give Neil his flowers and tell him what he means to us. She wrote, sign my lease on Friday. Time to get to work. Somebody else wrote, let's go, y'all. Anyway, let's go ahead and get ready to hop into step number three, man. Step number three, how to automate your space. Woo. Let me know if y'all getting a lot of games. So before we jump in this step, let me quickly give y'all this. Everybody write it down. 40, 40, 40, 40. Put a circle around it real quick. So for those who don't understand, here's the 40, 40, 40 plan. Find a good job, work that good job 40 hours a week. Work that good job for the next 40 years of your life, then retire on 40% of your income. The reason why that concept works and doesn't work is because, one, that's all we've been told our entire lives. 40, 40, 40, find a good job, work the good job for the next 40 years of your life. Find a good job, work the job 40 hours a week, then retire on 40% of your income. But the problem is we've never been taught about financial literacy. And because we've never been taught about financial literacy, we will not be able to retire on 100% of our income. This is the reason why so many people got to go back to a job that they hate. Now, everybody right? One of the things Derek Grace talks about, he talks about unlearn and relearn. The now name of the game is how do I make my money work for me, right? One of my buddies says, yo, you got to treat your money like an employee. It should always be working for you. Right. One of the books that my brother uh, Doug always recommends reads, he taught it's called The Richest Man in Babylon. And he talks about having your money being treated like a soldier. And I'll give you guys a prime example of this. Like one of the things that my guy Darius Daniel says, one of my clients, as well as my pastor, he says, whoever has your ear has your future. When he said it, I'm like, oh, it shook my core. He said, whoever has your ear has your future. Right. And what that simply means, guys, is. A lot of us are where we're at right now. A lot of us are doing the things that we're doing right now because somebody in our past have, have, has had our ear. And oftentimes this person is your mom, your dad, sometimes somebody who just who's a dream killer, right? And, and, and just to give me you guys an idea, like I, tell, I do this activity all the time and I'm like, it's such a crazy activity. How many people right now, you got 10 seconds to make a decision and you got to live where your mom lived, live where your parents live, drive what they drive, have their retirement, live in their life, enjoying it how they're enjoying it. How many people want to do that? And most people say no. So after the day, one of my biggest things is stop asking people for advice on how to get to a destination that they have yet to go to. It will never make sense, y'all. So again, I just wanted to really give y'all that and make sure y'all guys just understood the concept of the 4040. So very quickly, y'all, with step number three, how, how do you automate your, your space? 
Let me go ahead and break down how I was able to automate my space. One of the things my brother Inky Johnson always talks about, he talks about things don't happen to you, things happen for you. Like a lot of you right now, y'all are going through so many things right now. Things aren't working out. Like, 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 like people may be passing away. Like some of you just got laid off. Something might have happened with your credit. Like so many things are happening to us in our lives right now. And as these things are happening to us and in our lives, you keep asking God, why me? Instead of asking God, why not me? Like when Inky changed, he changed my perspective when he said, yo, things aren't happening to you. Things are happening for you. So y'all, for me, I was playing basketball in in Philly at my house, well, at my apartment on City Avenue at the Presidential, and I'm dribbling. I go up, I try to do a crossover, I fall, my knee pops out, the socket pops back in. Mind you, prior to this, I was running my event spaces. I'm talking about, I, was, I thought I was doing an amazing job, but me, like most business owners, I was a slave to the business, which meant if I didn't work the business, the business didn't work. Which meant if I wasn't at my event spaces, I wasn't making money. I was at my event spaces, I'm I'm, I'm taking out chairs. I'm taking out tables. I'm setting them up. I'm breaking them down. I'm the trash man. I'm the decorator. Like, you need me to run and do an errand for you. Like, I'm the contract signer. Like, I was the guy doing everything inside of my venue. I'm talking about, like, I was doing everything inside of my venue. And as I was doing these things, as I was doing these things, I never realized that, yo, I was really a slave to the business. Now, fast forward, when I went went to the doctor, when I got injured, my wife at the time, fiance, ran me to the hospital. She said, man, the doctor said, man, most likely before we even do x-rays, I'm letting you know most likely. You said your knee popped out, popped back in. You tore your ACL, you tore your meniscus, 100%. I said, what does that look like in terms of work? He says, you might as well call your job right now. You will not be able to work on your legs for the next 60 days. I'm like, ain't no way in the world I cannot work for the next 60 days. And this is why I tell people it's so important. You have to learn how to make your money work for you. Like I tell people this all the time. If you had to go, let me know how many people would be fired. Be honest, because I would be. If you had to call in tomorrow or tonight, I'm like, hey, boss, I just broke my hand or broke my leg. I can't use my hands or my feet for the next 60 days. Most of us won't have a job. I know I wouldn't. I can't judge no one else, but I know I wouldn't at the time. So as as he said, I'm like, yo, there's no way I'm not going to be able to work because my business is so depending on me. Like, it ain't no way this will work for me. And he said, well, I'm sorry. So what happened was, y'all, my mom and my fiance subbed in. So for the next about 45, 50 days, they did everything. They set all the events up. They broke them all down. They're carrying the tables. They're carrying the chairs. Like, they're doing everything, right? And as they were doing all of these things, like, I really didn't feel great in my spirit. I'm like, yo, my wife coming in, fiance, I'm just say wife because it's easier. My wife coming in all broken down, like, baby, I don't know how you was doing all this. My mom always say, yo, how would you able to do all of these different things, son? Like, it, like it's just too much. And while I'm laying there, y'all, for some odd reason, I had an epiphany, right? I said, man, I got to figure out how to get them out of this. And I came up with this concept of automation. And it literally changed everything for me. It changed everything for my business. And the idea was that now every client that come in, I stopped going, doing all of these one-on-ones, meet this client here, meet this client here, meet this client here. I started doing an open house. During that open house, we showed our clients where our tables were at. We showed our clients where our chairs was at. We did all of these different things. And as we showed them where the tables was at, as we showed them where the chairs were at, what we did, y'all, which was so important was, we told them when they signed the agreement that they got to give us back the 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 they got to give us back the venue the same way we give it to them. Like they got to give us the venue so when they walk in, tables are over here, chairs are over here, like nothing is on the floor. You got to give us back the venue the same way we get to you or you lose your security deposit. So what this did was, y'all, it allowed me to stop setting up your event. It allowed me to stop breaking down your event because now our clients was required to do this on their own. And what this did, y'all, was change the game because now I didn't have to spend four or five hours at a venue. My, granted, at the time we were getting $500 to $700 an event, it's still good money to stay there. But now we literally was able not to do that because they set it up and broke it down on their own. So one of the things you guys got to get is a smart lock. Right. Or a way to open up your venue from your phone. So when your client is there, they go in on their own and they also can lock up on their own. So what we needed to start doing now is we just need to have somebody to work in the middle, like as they're closing out, because now they can clean up and prepare for the next event. 
So this is my automation process. Who do I need in the automation process? One is a virtual assistant, right? One of the biggest things we got to start learning is so many of us look at things as expenses and not look at them as assets. Your virtual assistant does all of your bookings. They do all of your contracts. They do all of your reviews. They do all of your bookings, right? They do all of your communication with your customers. They answer your phone. They answer your texts. This is how you get your time back. And now we show you guys how to get a employee, which I'll show you how to get for free in a program, right? Because essentially they're working your open house, getting the bookings, and they're also serving as your cleaner and your event person. So now at some point you're able to remove yourself out of this. Let me know if this is making sense in the chat. So now we got our event booker and we got our virtual assistant. Now at some point we now are removing ourselves out. How do y'all think I've lived in Atlanta for the last three years? I've been to my venues in the last three years Outside of the new one, we just acquired a total of about 12, 13 times, y'all. It changes the game. Every single week, I am getting checks, I am getting direct deposits, or I am getting cash from venues that I have not stepped foot in in the last six months. And this is why I literally be trying to teach y'all this. Like, yo, once you get a hold of making money without exchanging times, it will mess you up mentally. So this is the concept of automate. So put in your contract that they, and I'm going to give you guys my contract. I'm going to give you guys the lease. I'm going to give you those things. Like put in the contract, put in the lease, what they can and what they cannot do so they respect your spot. So that, my friends, is how I was literally able to automate the place. And the next thing I want to talk about, everybody quickly write this down. The ASAP model, of course, is autonomous. You need something that could work for you once you set it up. Sustainable, something that will continue to work. Action, once you put it in place, it will continue to do in perpetuity. And another thing I want you guys to write down when we talk about autonomous, other thing where we get bookings, I want you guys to write down pair space. One of the sites that we're going to have you put your venues on is pair space because what this is going to do, your virtual assistant is going to manage your entire pair space and do a whole bunch of bookings off here. And the other thing I want you guys to do here, everybody write it down. Another thing you guys want to do, you want to go ahead and set up a partnership with other event planners and you want to reach out to them, whoever vendors, you want to let them know, you want to make them one of your preferred vendors. You will love for them to come into your venue and do a setup. And when they come in your venue and do a setup, what this is going to do is you want to list them on your site, list them on your social media, wherever you want. But you want to go ahead and now get pictures and videos from this. So now imagine you got three different event planners coming to do two mock setups at your venue, right? And now you got all these different pictures and videos to market your services. So now you're able to market the baby showers. You're able to market the book signings. You're now able to market the seminars. You're able to market the workshops simply because of you guys doing all of this. So with that being said, man, that is literally some of the plays that you guys literally can use to be able to get your own profitable event space. Find it, fund it, and automate it. And what this is going to do, y'all, is going to give you guys the time freedom, right, and the financial freedom to get to the next level. Now, let me give you guys a prime example. Look at Kelsey. He said, yo, the Dynasty Suite is the latest business networking incubator and venue space in South Florida. Like, my question is, how many people are ready to get your spot up and running like Kelsey, ready to get going? Right? Look, look he's following my play step by step. Like, how many people are ready to be like cash, right? who's literally doing all the specialty events. So we talking about the Valentine days. We talking about the Easter's. We talking about the Christmas. Like that's a whole nother play. Like you are now getting money off of clients when they're literally having, when they're having things on Christmas, they're having things on Thanksgiving. They're having all these different things. Like how many people like Anik, who's an event planner here currently like, yo, I got to go ahead and find a way to start making money. Like most event planners aren't making as much money because as event planners, you are literally referring your venue to other people. Like, excuse me, you are referring your client, other people's venues, and you're not making any money. So this is why I'm like, yo, somebody put in the chat all money in this season. Meaning if you're an event planner, you got to get a venue. Like everybody in the industry, you need to add an event venue to your portfolio because this is a massive cash flow infusion machine that will literally pay you more than traditional real estate. It will pay you more than a buy and hold rental. It will pay you more than a 30 unit apartment building. And the cool part about getting in this way, y'all, you don't need that. You, you don't got to come up with, yo, a 30 unit apartment building. Listen to me. In y'all city, I want y'all to comment below. In your city right now, how much does it cost for you to buy a triplex in your city, for you to purchase a triplex, a three-unit building? How much does it cost you? 
to buy right now in your city? If you had to take a guess, wherever you live, what would the triplex cost you right now? Right. And guys, I'm literally trying to give you guys the automation play. And as you guys said, I'm about to uh, break down this. But look at look at uh, Christine, y'all. Christine, she was in Dubai with me. She said, yo, the program works if you work it. Speaking from experience, venue venue 38 is proof of the product. Best decision ever, y'all. She made ten thousand dollars off of a booking. She just put in our group last week and when in Dubai. She booked a five thousand dollar event. Next to them is Shanika and Demetrius, y'all. Those who I showed you earlier, they invested $75,000 to be in part of my big mastermind, right? And guys, they went from my regular event space, then they went to my big mastermind, but pay close attention to this, right? Y'all, the dope thing is, while we were there, they had a $10,000 booking one day. One day. Like, they did two events in the day, 10 grand, while we're up on a hot air balloon. Y'all know what it made me feel like to be able to do that, y'all? So the game is once you understand this automation game. And look, let me look at the chat. Richie Rich says to get a, to get a three unit in his city, seven hundred and fifty thousand. Fay for real says three hundred thousand. Kimberly three fifty. Somebody says one million, right? Uh, Richie Rich one point five. Michelle three point five. Joyce one point two five. Marie five hundred thousand, right? April Nixon three hundred and fifty thousand. Three point five million. Two million five hundred thousand right and here's the thing you guys are spending that type of money the the cash flow at best is going to be five hundred dollars like i'm talking about at best this is your exceptional let's say 300 to a thousand three doors you're going to make a, a couple thousand dollars a month we talking about one building one or two toilets one electric bill one gas bill that you're going to go out and put in this system that's going to give you a thousand to five thousand dollars Every single time somebody walks through your door. So my question is this. How many people ready to be next? Like how many people here like, bro, I got to be next. Like I like in the chat right now, you ready to be next. If you ready to be a part of it, somebody right. I'm ready. If you know 100% like Neil, I need to find a way to make my money work for me. So I don't have to work for it. Somebody say that's me. If you're somebody here like, bro, I'm ready to be like Tanisha. Like she made $98,000 last month. I may don't make that, but if I make an extra 10,000, it would change the game for me, Neil. Like, yo, I want to I want to go ahead and be like Brandon in Houston, y'all, who got two different venues. His best month was $35,000. I got to figure out how to make that work. Yo, I want to go ahead and be like Anique, y'all, who went from a struggling event planner, she said, to her best month being $33,000. She got three venues in one shopping center, y'all. So my question is this, y'all. Can I take the next five minutes? I would, I would like to know who would like to come learn this from me, right? Not, and again, I gave you guys what I could give you in a workshop, but who's like, bro, I really need to be a part of your program. I really need to get all the information. Like, I don't want some of the information. I need all of the information that you gave those hundreds and hundreds of people who now own profitable event spaces. Can I take the next five minutes to share with you guys how you guys are going to be able to work with myself, work with my team, so we can show you guys how to get that 50 to a quarter million in credit. So we can show you guys how to go out and get your own event space. So we can show you guys how to run our partnership model where you don't even have to own an event space. So we can show you guys how to get your entire overhead covered where you don't even have to go in your pocket. One client gives me $1,500 a month. Literally on my small venue for two and a half years straight, I had two clients, just two contracted clients. One gave me $1,500 a month. One gave me $1,100 a month. It's $2,600 a month I made off of the building. My entire overhead was $1,900 a month. Everything else was profit. I want to know who ready for that. If that's you in the chat, somebody say that's me. So I'm going to literally take the next five minutes. I want to talk about the opportunity um, for you guys to be able to get to that next level. Aisha says, sign me up, coach. So listen, I'm about to go ahead and break it down. And guys, when I drop the price, several of you are about to be able to join for free. Let me give you guys that because I know y'all excited about that. But let me let y'all know this. There will only be 20 spots when we drop it. So this isn't something you want to really delay with and you will have exactly 20 minutes, y'all, because I got to go spend time with my family. I've been out the country for the last seven days. So I do want to go in and spend some time with them. But I wanted to make sure I came here and serve you guys at the highest level. But real quick, um, I just want to know very quick before we get to it. I want to know who's excited. Y'all, we helped cash find a venue, right? That was already ready. Like I got a process to show you guys how to find event venues that's already set up and ready where you can go take them over from other event owners. 
Like a process where people come to me literally like, yo, bro, I got this space. I don't know how to market it. Can you help me? Or, or can you take it over? Like, yo, I got this space that, man, I just learned about you. Do you got anybody that could partner with me? Like, I want to know who's excited about that concept. I want to know who's excited about to learn our packaging play, where you can learn how to go ahead and do a $1,000, $5,000, $10,000, $15,000 events. Look at Zen. She says, yo, I will start at, she said, I start offering decorating packages for my venue. That's an additional fifteen dollars to $2,500 per event, right? Right, literally, y'all. Can y'all imagine every event you start adding fifteen hundred to twenty five hundred dollars per event? Can y'all imagine that? Right, I want to know who's excited about imagine being able to do that. Right, I, I want y'all to read this, and we're gonna drop to it. Right, so Mo says this, and I, and this is probably where a lot of you guys are at. And I don't know if any of y'all been to this workshop before, but listen to this. Mo says, "Greetings, everyone. I've been wanting to open up my event center space since two thousand and sixteen. It's 2023. That's four, five, six, seven years, right? But I was too much in my head to get started. I started across, I, I stumbled across Neil's course and decided to take it this past November. It gave me all of the reassurance and motivation needed. Within three months, I found a space, negotiated a lease, received my keys, and received the town's permit approval for usages with alcohol. Today we start renovations and I'm so excited for the future. Many thanks to this program and this group support. It's up from here. Do y'all see the before and do you guys see the after? But what I want you guys to stand on, right, as I get into it, I want y'all to write success, love, speed, right? Y'all, one of the things my mentor says to me and it's so important, I want you guys to make sure you grasp this is my biggest expense in life is what I do not know. I want y'all to write that down on your paper. My biggest expense in life is what I do not know. And the second thing is, write this down. This is something I live by. Every time you wait, it always costs more. I'm going to say it one more time. Every time you wait, it always costs more. I'm so excited for Mo, but can y'all imagine if in 2016 she said, I'm going all in? That seven-year head start that you would have had if you would have took action when you had the opportunity. So what I'm telling y'all here, one of the things I teach my clients and my students is you got to operate with a sense of speed. You got to operate with a sense of maleness. Why? Because every time you wait, it always costs you more. Like every year you wait to start your business, that's the year you got to work at a job that you potentially hate. And some of y'all, a lot of my clients work their job and their business, do both, but I don't want you to work something that you hate. I don't want you doing anything that you like everybody here. You don't want to you don't want to cap on anything that you do. And the process and the program that we teach is I'm going to literally give you guys the game where you're going to literally go ahead and find your corporate clients. Right. Like, like, look at Lauren. She says, well, I'm at 10K already for the month. I just checked my email and the news wants to possibly feature our venue for National Wetting Month. Like, I want to know who here is ready to be booked and busy. Right. So without further ado, y'all, let me go ahead and take a second, y'all. And I want to go ahead and talk to you guys quickly about the program. And this is where I'm going to give you guys the opportunity to make this investment. And several of you guys are going to be able to start for free. By far, y'all, one of the greatest things that I've ever done. And I don't know if you guys can see it back here um, on my wall, but I got a bunch of awards up on my wall. But in the last year, I invested $400,000 on my personal development, right? Um, this is something that I put so much energy and effort in. I pay ET well over $50,000 to coach me as well as speak at my events. We gave Magic Johnson over $200,000 to come to the events. We gave Ed Milet $80,000 to come to the event. I paid David Goggins $165,000 to come to the event. Like we paid TD Jakes. Like I'm constantly paying as many mentors as I can. And I'm not telling you guys, my mastermind is 75K. I'm not asking you guys for that now. My passive income mastermind is 25K. I'm not asking you guys for that. But I know and I know the 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 difference maker between me and most people is it is my ability ability to execute on information and it's my ability to invest in myself and get information and access from people who already went before me. Like, I don't want to go try to bump my head trying to figure it out when I got people who already went there. So without further ado, y'all, I was able to create a program called Event Space Secrets. I'm going to be all the way honest. I got a 75K mastermind. I got a 25K mastermind. And what I just created was our new program, y'all, was Event Space Remastered. And I said, yo, I already understand everybody can't be in a 75K. I already know everybody can't be in a 25K. But what can you make, right, that is new 
that can literally help people get to another level of success, right? And what we did, we created a new program called Event Space Remaster, right? And with this program, I'll be all the way honest, like when I came up with the price, I said, yo, it gotta be 10 grand, right? For the game that we're giving people, the strategies that we're giving people, the information that we're helping people reach, the levels of success that we're helping them reach, it has to be, right? And how I designed this program, I wanna go ahead and break it down. Now, I'm two minutes from the price, so get ready. If y'all ready, write the word ready, right? And, and several of you about to join for free. But when I came up with the program, like, how can I create this program where it gives people so much value that it pushes them into action? So the first thing that we created was we created a new 30-day sprint program. And with the 30-day sprint program, y'all, it gives us the opportunity to literally help you in the next 30 days, literally as much as we can help you get your process. Help you get your space. So in that first 30 days, it's coming with an orientation. In that first 30 days, it's coming with a, the, a, a mindset call. In that first 30 days, it's coming with a credit card to help you get fun. In that first 30 days, it's coming with multiple accountability calls. Also pairing you with your accountability partner, right? In addition to that, is it okay if we give you access to a private Telegram group where you get a message from me every, every, every week? Right, where I'm dropping a video message in there, I'm dropping an audio message in there just to further uh, further empower you, further encourage you, and drop strategies in there to help you guys get to the next level. In addition to that, I'm saying, what else can I do to really help them get a lot of value? I said, how about I give them access to our private group, right, that we charge $300 a month. I want to waive that for you guys, right, and allow you guys to join that for free for the next three months, no payment. So instead of $300 a month, it comes to $47 a month, right? I said, yo, Neil, what else can I do to make people get so much value? I said, man, how about I give them access to the call that we just did with our lawyer that I paid them $10,000 for to help them review all the leases, tell you what needs to be in a lease, help you tell you what doesn't need to be in the lease. Y'all know I almost lost my second space because this certain term that I did not have in the lease which we now changed on all of our leases, is another term that we have in our leases that if COVID came, it will get us out of our spaces if we need it. So this is why I'm paying 10 grand for that. So can I give you guys that? In addition to that, I'm like, yo, how can I keep over delivering to all of my people? I said, yes, they got group access. Yes, they got access to a 30 day of coaching, right? Our power coaching, right? Yes, they got access to getting connected with an accountability partner, right? But I said, what else can I do? I want to do a systems call so y'all all get access to our systems call so you know how to operate all these different systems, y'all. So these are some of the things that you are getting right now for making an investment. So I'm about to go ahead and drop the price for you guys. And then I will tell you everything else y'all going to get. But let me ask y'all this. For those who are ready to make the investment, right? And one of the things else y'all going to get, y'all going to learn the importance of packages. Learn exactly how to package, so you can get that $5,000 event. You get that $1,000 event. You get that $10,000 event, right? So guys, let's be all honesty. Is $10,000 worth it for y'all? Like if 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 you if you made this investment for 10 grand and you only made 10 grand back, is it worth it? What if you get a what if you get an accountability partner, right? That end up being the best friend and the business partner, right? Don met somebody inside of the group they opened up an event space in Detroit together, right? So if it was only 10 grand, how many people are like, "Yo, I'm all in." So without further ado, y'all, with the event space program, if y'all ready to go, somebody in the chat, let me know I'm ready, right? So without further ado, I said, bro, instead of making $10,000, right, instead of charging them $10,000 for this investment, right, because I know it's well worth it, for everybody ready to take action now, it comes with our contracts, it comes with the event space automation cheat, cheat sheet, it comes with uh, how to finance the events, it comes with all of those things, right? But I said, instead of charging somebody $10,000, everybody today, ready to go all in right now y'all can get started today for four thousand nine hundred and ninety seven dollars y'all go to event space secrets but there is more i say yo for everybody who's taking action y'all i'm letting everybody get in the game right now for only one thousand nine hundred and ninety seven dollars y'all go to eventspacesecrets.com right now so you could get in update that on instagram eventspacesecrets.com so go to eventspacesecrets.com right now so you guys could get in right now. Everything that I just said, y'all, for $1,997, y'all. So team, pin that up top. And very quick, for those who are here like, bro, I want to go ahead and get in for free, right? So I'm so grateful. This has been a partner with us for a year. About 60 to 70% of everybody who joined our program, they actually start this way, right? We've had the opportunity to partner with PayPal Credit. And what PayPal credit does, it gives you the opportunity to join our program right now for no money out of your pocket. 
So literally, you don't even got to pay $19.97. It's $0 to start, and they will give you an answer within 30 seconds, right? So what most people do is they join with PayPal credit. They learn how to go make the money, learn how to get in with all the game, and then you go out and pay it back, 0% interest, as long as you pay it off within six months. So again, y'all, we are literally making this an absolute no-brainer for you. You're getting everything you need to be able to open up and run your own profitable event space in the next three to six months, y'all. This is for everybody who's willing to take action right now. So go to www.eventspacesecrets.com right now so you guys can go ahead and get in. Instead of investing 5,000, it's only gonna be 1997. That is for the first 20 people. Once this deal is gone, let me be very clear, you will see it at the $5,000 price point, right? So that's everything that you guys are getting right now. And I wanna go ahead and talk about some of the other things that you're getting. But before I even go deeper in everything else y'all getting, I got three other things that you're getting that this is for those who take action in the next 10 minutes. You get everything I'm talking about. So if you're not an action taker, this ain't for you. Cause I got three things that is about to literally blow your, like, like literally blow your mind. But before I get into that, right? I see a lot of people saying, hey, what does it cost, right? And I already just broke down the cost. The biggest thing that I like to tell people this is this. Stop asking what does it cost? Like I'm like, I think you're asking the wrong question. Instead of saying what does it cost, ask yourself what does it cost if I do not do it? Like I have so many people, they be like, yo, what does it cost? Right? And a question I always like to ask people, I don't, I don't ask what does it cost. I ask what does it cost if you don't do it? How much does it cost if you stay in the same position you're in now next year? How much does it cost if you stay in the same position you're in now in five years? There's going to be somebody right now who's going to take action, and they're going to be that person who creates success for their family. Then there's going to be somebody who comes back five years from now, 10 years from now. I'm like, Neil, I'm finally ready to get started. And you already lost five or 10 years of your life, right? So one of the biggest things that I teach my clients, my students, is you got to start operating with a success, love, speed mentality. And guys, as you make the investment, y'all go ahead and comment below. Say I'm all in, paid in full, so we could go ahead and congratulate y'all. I already saw several of y'all private message me. So congratulations to everybody who already in. Excited for y'all. Don't private message me. Put it up there in public so everybody can see it, right? But one of the things I tell people is don't ask what it costs. What does it cost if you don't? And the other question I tell people all the time is you got to ask yourself this. What are you willing to give up in order to go up? There's so many people here not reaching the level of success that you can reach. And the reason why you're not reaching the level of success that you can reach because you decided to stay the same. Like I tell people this all the time. What are you willing to give up in order to go up? Are you okay with 2023 being like how 2022 was? Are you okay with 2023 being like how 2021 was? Are you okay with 2023 being how the last five years was? And the thing that I see with so many people is so many people want change, right? So many people want to get to the next level, but every time you got an opportunity to get to the next level, you do nothing about it. So I realized the reason why I was able to drastically improve the quality of my life, it was because my ability to execute. It was my ability to take action on information. It was my ability to bet on myself, y'all, and become everything today. I tell people all the time, the word bet means become everything today, not tomorrow, not next week, not next month. Like, what are you willing to give up in order to go up? Are you willing to do everything that you can today to make sure your future self is proud? And here's the thing. I'm going to be all the way honest with you. A lot of you here, I'm going to tell uh, a lot of you here, y'all the smartest person in your circle. So I tell people all the time, you're the smartest person in your circle. You're not in the circle. You're actually in the cage because what happens is, is everybody reach out to you for everything. Y'all, y'all be honest in the chat. Let me know if that's you. Like you, everybody, can I borrow this? Can I pick your brain for this? Can you take me there? Can I hold this? Can you teach me this? Can I go to lunch with you? Can I help me with this? Like, aren't y'all at a point where you just tired of everybody wanting everything from you? Aren't you at a point where you're tired of everybody just not like, like not getting it. Like you trying to grow, you trying to elevate, but you're not elevating because you got a bunch of people holding you down. It's like, I don't know if you ever understood the reason why they never had to put a top on a barrel with crabs in. The reason why you never got to put a top, right, on a barrel with crabs in it because every time one tries to excel, you got a whole group of people pulling you back down. Like soon as it's about to get out, uh-uh, let me go ahead and get you over here. Right, soon, soon everybody, uh, let, 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 me, let me come bring you back here where all of us average people is. And I tell people this all the time, this is so important. Everything that settles is at the bottom. So normally, guys, the reason why you aren't getting to the level of success because you already decided I'm going to stay average. You already decided I'm not going to give it everything that I got. Right, you already decided I'm going to stay poor. 
And for those who don't know what poor stands for, y'all, I'm not talking about you really poor. Poor means passing over opportunities repeatedly. I mean, every time you got an opportunity to invest in yourself, you say no. And I think about Tanisha. Like, Tanisha came on our last call. I'm like, yo, she said she made $98,000 last month. She literally said when she got in this program, she used PayPal credit. She said she didn't have anything when she got in this program. And I thought about it. I'm like, yo, it's been three years. She's made over a million dollars. After she watched this webinar, she decided to take action. She's made over a million dollars. Brandon, it's been two and a half years. He made over 500000 Petey just fired his boss over a year and a half ago. They're making $12,000 a month. He said, more importantly than money, Neo, I got my time back. I get to do music. So my question is, for those who are getting in, for those who are investing in yourself, ask yourself this. What are you willing to give up in order to go up? Are you willing to become everything you want today or are you going to keep waiting? Are you going to keep keep waiting? And again, my guy, my client, my friend, my pastor, Darius Daniel says this the best. He says, yo, whoever has your future, has whoever has your ear has your future. A lot of you right here, a lot of you, I'm going to be all the way honest with you. You're not elevating. You're not reaching another level. Because whoever had your, your ear in the past, they had your future. So you're not everything you want to be now because of the people you've been listening to. A lot of you have an opportunity right now to get a coach now. You got an opportunity to learn from somebody who's been doing this for the last six years, right? Six, seven years, excuse me. You got an opportunity to get, in the ex, get into a community with other people who think like you. You got an opportunity to get around other people who are winners. You got an opportunity to get around other people who get it. So anyway, y'all, I want to go in and take a second. Everybody who just made this investment, let me know so we can say congratulations, Um I see a couple real quick. Let me, uh, a bunch. Let me go ahead and salute some people, y'all. Um, congratulations to Andrew. I see you in the building. Let's go. Congratulations to Sherry. Congratulations to Chris, Crystal Martin. Paid in full. Congratulations to Sean. Said wife paid and done. That's called success, love, speed, right? Congratulations to Jake. Let's go. And everybody else, I see a lot of you are paying right now, but you're private messaging me, right? Don't private message me. Do it so everybody can see it, right? Lahona Hip Hall said, paid in full. I'm here. Congratulations, right? So again, you are people who decide that I'm going to become the best I could be, right? So again, just to recap, y'all, some of the things you guys are going to get, you're going to get 30 plus hours of video training on how to open up your event space, how to find it, how to fund it, how to automate it. I share everything I could share with you in 90 minutes. Can you guys imagine what you're going to get in 30 hours? In addition, you guys are going to get access to, and again, y'all, it's $2,000 now. Just to be very clear, it's $2,000 every single year. But those who are getting in now, it's a one-time payment. The course is yours for the rest of your life. You're also going to get 30 days of coaching, right? That's a mindset coach, right? That's going to be a credit coach. And we're going to give you all of those things over the next 30 days to truly help you guys elevate and get to the next level. We're going to give you guys all our website templates, our contracts, our ads, our text copy, everything that we use that you're able to use. In addition to that, y'all, y'all could get the t-shirt program. Again, this is when I used to do it, but get that to your kids so they could go out and start their own brand, right? In addition to that, I want to give you guys our system call. And this is where we're going to get on the call. Y'all guys are going to learn how to use HoneyBook. You're going to learn how to use QuickBooks for your business, right? In addition to that, can I over deliver everybody here? I want to give you guys the record into our last event space conference, right? That's a thousand dollar record. And I want to go ahead and give that to everybody here. In addition to giving you guys that, the second thing I want to give you guys, because I want to keep going, right? I want to give you guys a negotiating class. So one of the biggest things that I see people do is they say yes to the first venue you get. The first venue you get, you're like, yes, I'm all in. And oftentimes it's the wrong thing because we didn't even negotiate. So again, my first, my second venue was $3,000 a month. We got it down to $1,700. My first venue, I believe, was $2,400. We got it down to $1,400. Ask yourself, if you're able to at least save $500 to $1,000 a month for a two-year or three-year lease, what is that worth? That, that covers your cost of entry right there. If we help you guys make $5,000 off of an event, right, what, what is that worth? Those are just some of the things y'all going to get right now for those who deciding to take action, right? Like literally we're giving you everything you guys need to help you get to that next level. So again, man, I just want to say congratulations for everybody getting in. I want to go ahead and take a minute to answer some questions. Um, let ask the team if anybody on here who's coming up here. I want to go ahead and take a couple questions, y'all. And one other thing, right? 
Somebody write over deliver. Somebody write over deliver because I'm about to do something special for y'all. I'm about to do something special for y'all real quick, right? Do something special for y'all. Yep. Do something, do something special for y'all real quick. Um, who else just got in? If you just got in, let me know so we say congratulations. I haven't been looking at the chat. So let me know once y'all in so we can say congrats. Congrats to everybody. Go to www.eventspacesecrets.com, y'all. Oh, man, I made the same mistake again. Hold on. Let me go ahead and do this. I don't know how I keep doing this. Hey, team, y'all got to start dropping this offer for me. Bam. There we go. One second, y'all. <clears throat> yeah. And we got somebody here. Bring them up to the stage real quick because I'm about to go out and get ready to get out of here for the evening. We got somebody here. Bring them up. I didn't even know y'all was here. Uh, we got, uh, I think we got Demetrius here real quick. Where D at? Um, if y'all working on getting in, let us know. Congratulations. If y'all got, Tony said, I just got in. Congratulations. Let's go. Paid in full. Let's go. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. Um, um, let's get it. Um, yeah, let me bring you up, D. Or invite as a presenter. Yep. Invite as a presenter. D, let me know when you're here. Yep, and y'all could call Kelly Mead is on our team if you need help with customer service or funding options. Uh, D, you here? Where you at? Uh, I'm invert as a presenter. Okay, there you go. Yo, what up, bro? What up, D? How you feeling, bro? Man, I'm feeling good, bro. How you doing? Oh, another beautiful day, man. How you been, man? I ain't see you in a minute, bro. How you been? Hey, you run all the plays, dog. That's one thing I'm gonna say about you. If somebody gonna run the play, it's gonna be you, bro. Um, bro, how has it been since you you've been with me now for years? How has how has it been, bro? Just being a part of the community, just the event space game, bro. Let the people know because I know you've been crushing it. Just you got you got a whole bunch of businesses you got now, but just I know I tell people this it's so important that most people here, somebody put in the chat one play, one person. A lot of people are one player, one person from changing everything for you. Like sometimes you just need that one thing and everything changes. So just share with the people um, just your experience real quick, bro. Yo, D, can you hear me? Yo, D, can you hear me? Yo, yo. Can you hear me? All right, let me see who else. Let me see who else is here. Let me see. Dom, comment or Lauren, comment real quick. Dom or Lauren, comment real quick. We about to wrap it up, though, y'all. I want to say congrats to everybody who got in, though. Can you hear me, D? Yeah, I can hear you, now. Oh, oh, there we go. I was just letting you know, man, I know you've been in a program for a minute. Let the people know your experience, good brother. Oh, yeah, yeah. I've been part of the Vince Space Secrets. 2019. Wow. So been with the rocking with the group, rocking with the family for a minute, and it's been extremely valuable. And connecting with all the different group members, and as you grow and connect with everybody, you find synergies with different people. Like you said, you, you never know who is going to be in this group once you get in here, once you connect with everybody. And everybody has that one piece of knowledge for you. That can help take you to another level. Mm, powerful. I be telling people, bro, they don't understand that one information, one piece of information, one play could change it, bro. And uh, man, how the space been doing great, I'm sure. And you yeah, got you got a beautiful space, bro. Yeah. Let everybody know what what's space is what, doing good. We just had a. Yo yo yo! Can you hear me? I don't know what's up with the night. Can you, hey, can y'all hear him? L Lauren, you here? 
Yep, I'm here. Okay. I can't see you. Can you see me or no? Yeah, I can see you. Okay, good, good, good. Hey, hey, listen, Lauren, just let the people know. So, Lauren, y'all, she she's actually a restauranteur, event space owner, crushing it out there in Harrisburg somewhere, what, somewhere in PA. Let the people know about your experience, Lauren. And, and she's the executor, y'all. And I want to say you probably opened up during COVID. I definitely did, right in 2020. Yep, yep. How's your experience been? Joined the program. I've been running every place since. Like, started off minimal volume of products, you get the people in blank canvas, and then you just start upgrading. Once you start making the money, I got my ghost chairs coming in the next couple of days. Been running all the credit plays, yeah. style shoots, everything. Like, just getting your name out there. Sometimes you got to offer your space to people for free, and it come right back. I just gave a tour to the... um governor of uh, Pennsylvania and wow. she's about to host an event in my venue in, in a couple of days. Wow. You see that? It's, it's Power. been life changing. Listen to me, y'all. And I'm telling you, once how, let me how did it feel when you when you when you made money from a booking and you didn't have to show up. How did that feel? Because I, I I like to start I gotta start asking how has that experience been because it hit different getting that Whatever you charge, a five hundred, seven hundred, thousand, two, and you and you not there. Like what? What you think? Man, right now I don't even. I barely do tours now because I offer virtual tours. So the money, I don't even have to go into my venue. It's just wow. like, oh, we want to see the place. Oh, here we go, a virtual tour, and I'm booking them off for that. Like the money that I'm making, and not have to physically show up. Not what I would make in two weeks. I'm making in a booking in a. Ooh, talk we, that talk, talk that we, talk, we Lauren. Not even doing nothing, and that's, and that's honestly like not even talking on the phone, not, not upselling myself nothing, because all my content is out there. My website, break everything on every package, got the pictures. I don't have to do nothing. Power. I just work, work from the back end, and then it comes to the forefront. Everything can take care of itself. Mm, powerful. Well, listen, Laura, I'm proud of you. I look forward to seeing you. Keep doing your thing. Thanks for coming on here for a second. I'll see you soon, sister. Let's get it. All right. Happy Sunday. Let's get it. AD, hey, talk to me. Guys, five more minutes. We wrapping this up. I got to spend some time with the family. Yep. Uh, D, what's up? Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you now. Yep, yep talk to me. My kept, kept freezing, so I had to go ahead and just hop off the internet, hop on. Oh, no, you good. Talk. You good, bro. You good. So I was just letting people know to tell them about your experience. I know you've been here for a minute doing your thing, bro. How how has that also feel to start making that money and you you not even showing up to a lot of these events? How 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 is it feeling, man? It's feeling good. I'm getting ready to. Um, I have my VA now. I'm in the process of getting ready to hire uh, someone to handle some more of the day to day tasks. So now I'm really I'm gonna show up when I feel like it at this point just to help train my new employee yeah hey bro and i'm telling you when you do that i want to say congrats that's going to change the game for you bro like just hey, I'm forward to it. bro like look i live in atlanta bro i live out in georgia with you and it's like i don't gotta be in them spaces bro it changed like i tell people you want to do that as quickly as you can to get more of that time back bro because you got a whole bunch of things i think you got trucking you got photography you got a lot of other ways you make money so this is that somebody put in the chat all money in season. You got to get the bag however many ways you could get it, bro. But proud so of you, I bro. Have, so I could go ahead and put a little extra time in stabilizing my trucking company. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Well, listen, bro, let's get to it, man. I see you. I see you very soon. Can't wait. Oh, yeah. Looking let's, forward to the conference. Let's get it, D. So, y'all, man, I'm rolling, y'all. So, look, if Dom is here, let me know. But I want to say this, y'all, because here's the big surprise I got for y'all. Here's a big surprise. This will be for anybody who already invested. And this will be anybody for the next five minutes until I get out of here, right? But everybody here who already made an investment. Matter of fact, hold on. Let me, let me Hold on. Let me, let me do something. Hold on. All right, y'all. Thank y'all so much for joining the workshop. We'll see you guys on the next go round. All right. Make sure y'all edit this real quick. All right, guys. So real quick, I just wanted to make sure I ended that out because if we ever replay this, I don't want 
we won't be able to add this part. So everybody here, really quick, everybody who already made the investment, um, everybody who already made the investment, I want to go ahead and show you guys some love, right? Everybody who made the investment, we're going to invite you guys to our conference. And you're going to come spend two days with me, y'all, April 14th and April 13th this month in Atlanta, Georgia. So you going to be able to come spend two days with me, y'all, as a, as a part of your investment. Congratulations, Janet. Paid in full. Let's go. Um, so really quick, that's one of the exciting things I wanted to share with y'all. Because, again, I'm getting the info online is cool, but it's nothing like that proximity. I tell people all the time there's power in proximity. So everybody who already made the investment, you guys are going to get access to a $1,000 conference ticket. And to make it even better, we're going to also allow you to bring a guest. Right. Because I want everybody around me to be able to win. So you don't want to be the only person winning. So everybody here who's made the investment. Congratulations. You getting to come spend some time with us in Georgia in the next two weeks. So when this is over, start looking in the flights, drives, however you want to get here. But everybody who made this investment, that's also included. And you get to go ahead and bring a guest. So that's going to be for two people. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. Y'all. I just wanted to do that team. I don't know if we got a winner already for the iPad. Can we identify who that is so we could select them? But again, I want to just say congratulations to everybody who took action. Um, virtual, it won't be virtual, but for our members who get in, it will be virtual. But ideally, this is, we want you here live. Virtual ain't, virtual ain't the same. Like, we want you to fly in from L.A., right? I'm in, the, I'm, a, I'm in the house. How many people excited about coming to the conference? Let me know. So anyway, y'all, that's pretty much it, man. I'm about to wrap. Dom, I don't know if you're here. Again, I'm about to go spend some time with my family, y'all. I, I said I wasn't going to be here all day today. Um, but I just want to say congratulations to everybody who's here, everybody who showed up, everybody who's ready to really, you know, take that action, right? And again, I want you guys to go to eventspacesecrets.com right now. Y'all get access to everything I just said. And just to even make the deal a little bit better, I also would like to, um, just to make this deal even a bit better, I also would like to give you guys access to um, our passive income conference recordings that we also did previously. So y'all get access to two of our previous conference recordings. You get access to the live actual conference. You get access to the Honey Book and Systems call. You get access to our negotiating and packaging call. You guys get access to our call with our lawyer. You get 30 days of coaching from our team. Right. You get access to our private group. You get paired with accountability partner. All of that, y'all, for two thousand dollars. So I just want to say congratulations, Tanya. Yep. Um, member, y'all, your your guests will get access to both days as well. They won't be a VIP member like you, but yes, they will get access. So again, that's it, y'all. Y'all go to www.eventspacesecrets.com. And yo, Cabrini said questions. Thank you for reminding me. Let me knock out a couple for y'all. What exactly is an open house? An open house is essentially where you open house. We do open houses Wednesdays and Fridays where your guests can come uh, come view your spot. Drop your questions in the chat. There's no questions in the chat. One from Janet that says fully paid. Congrats. One from Janet again that says I'm in, but there's no questions in the chat inside the Q&A box. Um, what do I say to garage owners who do weddings? What do I say to a garage owner to do what? So Darius, that's a good question. That since you was an Instagram post, that won't be as, it's going to be very rare that you're going to do that. It's possible, but I would rather you get a venue. Thanks, bro, and happy birthday to you again. Appreciate you, Kevin. Thank you. Um, da, 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 da. Uh, uh, Keith Honeybook. Thank you. Happy. Yeah, I can't wait to see y'all for my birthday. It's going to be lit. What about tattoo convention centers? Do you legally recommend that? What about a tattoo convention center? Uh, Cabrini, I never heard of that. Meaning normally tattoo convention centers, they just rent a convention center. Uh, Donna Bailey, you can email info at circleofgreatnessacademy.com. Uh, how many venues should your bathroom hold? It depends on the size of your venue. One of my venues got one bathroom. One of them I got two. It will all be required. It will be based on your city's requirements. Uh, most creditors still check personal credit with EIN. Yes, a lot of creditors do. 100%. Uh, let's 
Once PayPal is approved, is there an email to pay for the course? Yes, um, I think that's neodeviso at gmail.com. You can also text the number below and they can assist you. Congrats, Liz, for getting approved by PayPal. PayPal approves a lot of people. Cool. Hey, team, do y'all know who the winner is already for the iPad so we could select them or will we put it in a group tonight? Let me know. Cool. All right, guys, I'm out of here, man. Congrats to everybody who came and locked in. Uh, look forward to seeing you guys in the community. Oh, the winner is Cynthia Morell. You just won yourself an iPad. Where you at? You still here? Cynthia Morell. You won yourself an iPad. Do us a favor right now. Can you email your information at info at circleofgreatnessacademy.com? We will buy and get this shipped out to you tonight. Cool, guys. I'm out, man. So listen, I'm about to play a video at the end of this video. Um, one of the things I'm going to go ahead and do is let's go ahead and give at the end of this video. Um, what I'll do is at the end of this video, we'll select somebody to be able to come to the conference as a VIP guest uh, at the end of this video. So if somebody can watch this, we'll pick two people. This for somebody who may just wasn't able to get into the conference. Uh, I mean, somebody who just possibly couldn't afford the course. And one thing I will do to give away a free course, if you guys go to thecheatcode.com and you get that, we'll select one person to win that as well. So go to thecheatcode.com and we'll select somebody to win that as well. So I'm about to go ahead and do that. So when the end of that video plays, our team will select one person who enrolls in thecheatcode.com, which is only 99 cent or $19 or a couple hundred for the year. And it gives you 30 different lecturers by 30 different entrepreneurs. So let me go ahead and play this video for you guys. And let's roll. When you got a job and you depend on that job, what you can't do is leave when you want to. Or, or you know, or do whatever. So it's just one of them things to where I just felt like I had to. And then it gave me the time to start a clothing brand, get back in on my music. Like, I just feel like I was alive again. You know what I mean? So for that person, if you giving these people your time for money, like, you're literally giving your life for money. So that's the that's the scariest part. Like, that's the riskiest part. And you said so something that's powerful, bro. You just talked about how you did 3500 in a week, and which is, oh, my, it's amazing.